Welcome to the Alan Paul channel. This is Alan Paul, of course. You can just call me Paul. And as you can see, we're doing No Man's Sky today, as usual. That's mostly the game that I play on this channel. We're doing something a little different today here on No Man's Sky. We're doing a run called The Stranded Challenge, developed by Beeblebum. Now, he showcased this uh, this past Thursday evening for, him for his time. Um... And it was a very interesting challenge. I watched as much as I could. Unfortunately, I was at work at the time, so it made it a little more difficult to keep an eye on things, but I kind of watched it. But he already has all the rules, and again, granted, it's a trial setup so far, so he may change rules as we go in order to make it a little more, more difficult or maybe make certain areas more easier. But as it stands, it looks like Jason's already tried running it. I'm going to go ahead and try running it just as a video today. I don't know how long it'll be, so you'll, you know, obviously when you see this video posted, you're going to know how long it is. I don't, obviously, at this point. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So let's go through the storyline. Um, it starts out saying, uh, Stranded. Story. You find yourself stranded on an unknown planet with no memory of how you got there. Your main goal is to return to your home planet. And the only feasible way is through a portal. You are a simple technician with basic knowledge of roamer and multi-tool technology, but you have no clue how to fix spaceships. While you have basic experience with flying it, you do not have the, a license to own a ship. So neither fixing nor purchasing is possible, or you have to forge a license. So keep an eye on that, fixing or purchasing. That means you have to have a license for a ship in order to be able to purchase said ship. Otherwise, you're on your own, and you can't fix it, which means you can't go to your starter ship either. So setup of game, game mods. Um, the mode that we're going to do is Survival Extreme. We can't do permadeath on this, and I'll show you why. So let's get in here. New game. We're going to do Custom. And see, if we do permadeath, I'm going to go ahead in there right now. See how everything is in here? The problem is, is that we don't get any recipes or blueprints. We have, they're all learnable, but we can't get them. We have to have the blueprints in order to be able to do this one. So we're going to slide this back to Survival. We're going to make everything challenging, scan a recharge, things like that. If we do a save deleted, you see what happens to the recipes and blueprints they unlock again. So we can't do that. We're going to do items destroyed and leave it there, but we're going to treat it, as the rules say, we're going to treat it like a permadeath run. It'll be a little bit easier, of course, but if we die for some reason, we have to start all over again. So we have to delete the save, start again. Okay, moving on. Everything else gets set to expensive. Harsh, uh, challenging, uh, again, recipes, we're going to unlock all of them. So let me go back to this game mode, survival extreme, all sliders set to maximum, enable all blueprints. There we go. Uh, disable the tutorial. Where are we here? That's down here. Okay. Got it. Uh, avoid following storylines, right? We know that no cheating. So we can't dupe glitch any of that stuff. Saves coming. Starter ship is not allowed. We already know that. So we're not going to access it. We may go towards it to use it as a point, a center point, if you will, on getting where we need to go, you know, just a starting point, for lack of a better way of putting it. Um, but that's it. That's all we're going to use it for. Uh, let's see. Challenge is restricted to starter planet. You cannot leave the planet. So while you can go in your starship, and yeah, if you can pulse drive around the planet or something like that, you're not allowed to go to the space station or to another planet if you do get a ship. All right, moving on. To be able to build a roamer, you need to unlock all blueprints in a custom game. So we've already done that. This blocks you from playing permadeath, so the maximum setting is extreme survival. The start and details. One, build a roamer. You can build a roamer to explore the planet. Now, we've talked to Beeblebum about this while he was playing. You can use any exocraft you feel like using, except, except for the one that you all are thinking to yourself that you would all love to use, of course. And that is the Minotaur. You cannot use the Minotaur. You have to locate the portal, so your objective is to locate the portal that's on this planet. Once the portal location is found, you can consider purchasing a ship. Before you can purchase a ship, you need to forge a pilot license. To get that, what you do is you have to find a crashed ship, you use the dead pilot's license, you access the cockpit or the little ball outside to forge your own. You're not actually forging anything, just keep in mind, this is all make-believe. So you access that, you get technology that determines also what kind of ship you can get. So if it's a fighter ship or a hauler, that is the ship that you're going to be able to purchase. If you find a hauler, I suggest you try to find another crashed ship. Because you're not going to get 20, 30 million in order to purchase a new one. It'll take you too long. 
Um, and it even says here, you can try finding another ship if you're not happy with the type, because haulers can be pretty expensive. Four, portal travel. After acquiring the ship and forging your license, fly to the portal. Use the portal to travel to your home planet, completing the challenge. Additional rules. And if you're wondering about the portal address, we'll get to that in a second. You cannot ex expand your inventory. You have to manage with the available space or purchase better equipment, it says. That means that's in regards to your multi-tool. So if your multi-tool doesn't have enough space on it, you can try to find another multi-tool or purchase one. You are allowed to build only one base computer on the planet. The base can be dismantled and rebuilt, but only one base at a time. You cannot use the recall exocraft option, except for when you are completely stuck or bugged out. If you're stuck in a cave, you can dig yourself out. So if you drop into a cave by accident, well, you have to figure out a way to get back out of there. You can't just put the base back down for the uh, exocraft and resummon it. You have to work your way out of that situation. You can build another exocraft if you wish, but it'll be a different type. To obtain the license, you have to claim the ship. So you have to claim whatever ship it, you find. It becomes yours, but you can't fly it because it's damaged and you don't know how to repair it. Minotaur, again, is off-limits. Frequently asked questions. Yes, you can build a trade rocket if you wish to. That can come in handy. Yes, you can use the claimed ship license to trade when purchasing your ship, but it has to only be the claimed ship, not the starter ship. The challenge is designed for the roamer, but currently it is allowed to build other exocrafts except the Minotaur, and it's a work in progress. And he leaves a portal code on his Discord channel for the rules, so you can check that there. He has a, uh, the portal code. Because we've enabled the blueprints up here all unlocked, you get all the, the portal codes, just so you're aware of that. So we've got everything set here. Everything is at maximum right now, except for that one thing, save deleted, and the other thing, the blueprints. So let's get confirmed and started. I think we've spent seven minutes talking about all that. <laughs> Go figure. So this is going to be a fun one. I'd have my picture on the screen. I'm not going to worry about it this time because this is just going to be a playthrough uh, to show you all how it's done. It's a funner one than usual, so we should be in good shape. Game audio is not coming through because I had left the game on from earlier. You'll get some audio here coming up in just a moment. And then the game will have everything in it that it normally has. So, Usually either a cold or hot planet. Looks like we've got a, cold, a hot one. And a ship, well, it looks like the starship's right in front of us. So we can't do anything with it. Get to know your environment. Look at that. <laughs> All right. So, here we go. You see my... It's all dropping. We should have a cave, I hope, nearby. I don't think I do. How unfortunate for me. Ah, analysis visor is critically damaged. Let's see what we got here. Here's our exosuit. I'm going to move things around just a little bit because I can see them better when I have them moved around. The starship, we can't access anything here. You're going to leave it alone. Make believe it's broken. And the multi-tool. So here's our multi-tool. We have a terrain manipulator, but it's really, really low. Here's our mining laser. I'm going to put it over here in the supercharge slot. And then there's our scanner and analysis visor. We're going to need things to repair. And we definitely need some some uh, carbon. So let's take a look around and see what we can find. I know we're going to need ferrite dust, so I'm going to gather that while we're going. This is funny because there's already a base computer here. That is something else, isn't it? That's a random base computer. We really literally spawned next to a random base computer. That's crazy. Doesn't get any crazier than that. We have had an unknown rule or an unstated rule of being within a thousand units of your of your starting point before you leave. All right. So it looks like we got some carbon coming in, right? Thank heavens, because we need a lot of it. And we definitely need to find ourselves a cave to, for that reason right now. And we need to find some carbon so we can make some uh, stuff. Ferrite dust, definitely need more of that. In the hottest setting, you can get more materials and you'll get them quicker. Oh good, a geode. Excellent. Alright, let's see what we got so far. Nice. Okay, that's going to help greatly. So how can we repair these? Ferrite dust for the scanner. And we need a carbon nanotube. We should have enough carbon now to make at least one of those, right? See, we got everything in here. There you go. Multi-tool. I'm going to fix the analysis visor. Okay, we're all set here. So now we can take a look around. We're looking for stuff underground. In the meantime, we're going to get running, because we got to find some place soon. 
I need a cave. We'll get some more carbon because we can always use more. And we're definitely going to need... Oh, that's good. Humming sack. That means we've got a cave nearby over here. Let's go ahead and circle that. And we're going to run over here and grab this. Because this will help us greatly. The fire berries are very important to us. I don't know where that's leading down to. And I don't see a cave entrance anywhere. So let's go over here just a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Ah, cave entrance. We have to be careful because... I thought those were... Okay, those aren't. I thought those were those... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Bad guys that uh, release toxins. Okay. We're going to want to get some nanites at some point. So the more animals we can scan, the better off we'll be on that case. All right. And turn on our light. Uh, let's go ahead and analyze our stalactites. Okay, they got dihydrogen in the top ones, and the bottom ones, the stalagmites, have copper. Copper will come in handy, because that we can get, um, we can turn into keratic metal eventually. But I definitely need the cobalt, though. And I definitely want our stalactites to give me dihydrogen as well. We're going to need to find some more. There we go. And we're running low on mining juice. Love to find some silver or gold. I don't know what we're going to build as far as a craft is concerned, an exo craft. Let's take a look, shall we? I need to recharge you. Let me go ahead and put that in there. All right, so we got a good amount of cobalt. We got some of this. This is going to help our life support. Excellent. Okay. I'll gather up some of that as I go. We're going to put some dihydrogen down here. We're going to need it, and we'll keep the copper just in case. Carbon goes here for now. All right. Let's see how much it's going to cost us. So, again, we have to stay away from this guy. He wants us to build a roamer. It requires metal plates, paraffinium, and ion batteries. So, we, in order to get paraffinium, if this planet doesn't have any on it, we're going to have to refine it, which means building a uh, twin refiner, at the very least. I love the Nomad Geobay, Geobay myself. I would rather go with this because um, it can go a little bit easier over certain terrains, and I kind of like that. There's this one here, but you need silver for it. And we I don't know if this planet has silver on it, so we're going to check that out real fast. Right-hand side, we got copper, phosphorus, and cobalt. And cobalt's actually in large deposits here, so we don't have to gather any from here. Okay, now we need... Paraffinium, right? So let me open up a guide real quick because off the top of my head, I don't remember what we can get that from. All right, let's see here. One silver and one oxygen will give that to us. Uh, star bulbs and salt. Okay, pyrite, which we can't get in ferrite dust. Uh, let's see, sulfurine we can't get either. All right, so the one that we have the most hope in is maybe some silver, but star bulbs would be better. And does this planet have star bulbs on it? It does not, right? Frost crystals? No, selenium. Hmm. So I'm not sure what we're going to be able to build with this. So we may have to go with the Romer whether we like it or not. Because the Romer has the metal plates and the ion batteries. But we still need paraffinium, so I don't know where we're going to get paraffinium from. So this is going to make it very difficult for me. Okay, so that'll make things a little tough on us, but we'll figure it out. That's the whole point behind the challenge, right? Uh, let's see. So we already have cobalt. Let me just make sure there isn't anything here that has a different metal in it. Because if we can find something with silver in it, then we're in good shape, right? Let's explore the cave a little bit. Hmm. What's your secondary? Uh, it's either oxygen or condensed. It's oxygen. We could use some oxygen. 
how much carbon we're going to get out of this guy. It's taken a while to get through him. Oh, that's a good amount. Okay, good. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? All right. Let's look at some of these. And what we're looking for is we're looking at these guys here and seeing if they have secondary metals to them. If we're fortunate, we'll find something with, you know, silver, like that. Instead of cobalt. We do need cobalt anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and grab it. But that was good. We got some silver out of that one. We need 100 silver, I believe. How much did we get? We got 33. We can find a few more of those. We'll be in good shape. Looks like we got a plant over there. Okay, it's one of those plants. No big deal. Uh, let's see. Up at the ceiling. I don't know if those are going to give it to us. Let's see here. Copper, copper. All right, let's go deeper into this, because if we can find another one or two of those that give us silver, we'll be in really good shape now, won't we? Because that's good to know. I'm going to focus just a little bit here, so it'll get quiet for a few moments. Copper... More copper. All right. Cave goes on for a little ways, so we may just continue on through the cave. That would oh, that's gold. There it is. Don't mind getting some gold. All right, so now we know what we can do. We know that there's hope, <laughs> if you will. We have hope to get ourselves some silver, so we can get a we can get a different type of. Uh, I think that's the the bike. You can get the bike. I don't remember what the name of it is off the top of my head. It's what Jason calls the Batman bike. Cobalt. And these will show them to you as you walk up to them as well. So you can do that. Cave <laughs> arrow. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, platinum. All right, we'll take some platinum too. Cobalt, cobalt, cobalt. A lot of times they'll have a slightly different color to them as well, but can't always rely on that because sometimes the color, the color change is so subtle. That you can't see it, especially on the smaller ones like those. And hopefully I can catch it, because silver might actually, the name itself might come up with the same color as cobalt. Oh. Where is he? I don't see him anywhere. I could hear him. You know what we need to do, just go like that. There they are. Let's go ahead and grab it, because we could use some sodium and some oxygen, too. And I don't have a timer going, you probably already noticed that, so... We're not really gonna... To... We're not gonna really just watch it that way, because the video itself, the length of the video itself, is gonna... Uh, be the timer, if you will. 
But I wanted to get at least one decent run through this so I can have an idea of what I'd be prepared to have to do here. So researching this is very important. Uh, let's see. Nope. Doesn't look like we've got any others here. There apparently is another guy spewing stuff someplace. I don't see him. All right, other area of the chamber here. And all we have to do is look for our ship in case we got a little get a little lost. It's no big deal. Cobalt. 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 Okay. No harm in checking up above. Got some pure ferrite there. Alright, I think we're done with this chamber. I don't think we're going to find much of anything else. Could use a little extra carbon, so we'll grab it. There we go. Alright. Well, let's go find ourselves another cave. Before we leave, we're going to create a few batteries. We only need a few. There we go. One more to do. There we go. Okay. And how much cobalt we have left? Nothing. So it gives us 15 batteries to get ourselves started. We're going to keep the silver over here. Uh, I'm going to keep carbon and oxygen up there. We're going to put platinum down here. Pardon me, that's the oxygen. Platinum we're going to put down here. The gold put down here. Ferrite I'm going to put underneath the oxygen. We're going to line up the other the other ferrites over. Yeah, actually we're going to do this. Ferrite up there. Good. Okay. All right. Let's go. Ship's that way, so that's probably where our exit is, right? Just checking, because you never know. That was kind of a painstaking check of the area in here. Looks like this is another area. I don't even know if I've been in here yet. Oh, gold. We haven't been in here yet. So this might have a silver one in it if we got a gold one. Silver, silver, silver is what we're looking for. Wow, this sure is a lot of these things in here. It's kind of hard to see past all of them. I'm going to get a little more cobalt for now, just to have some on hand in case we need to make an emergency battery. Look at these real quick. All right, I think that is all of them. Or as many as that we're going to find for now. All right, we'll check out our next cave. There we go. Nope, that's pure. All right, so there's the ship. So we're going to head in a di direction. Uh, let's just check the planet real fast. I want to know where we are. We're at the top, so heading south would be better for us. And pick up plants on the way and stuff. We want to find animals, of course. Okay. I can't see that one, but I'm sure we'll find him along the way. We don't want to dilly-dally too, too much. Okay. Good. Go over here. We could use some dihydrogen while we're over here. And sodium. I see some sodium there. We're going to go ahead and grab that too. There we go. How many is that? Five of eight. Okay, we're doing pretty good here. We'll find more as we go. South it is. Let's head south. Okay. 
We need some ferrite dust, so let's make sure we grab that too. Okay, what did we get? Magnetized ferrite. Well, we could use that, and we got pure ferrite. Well, isn't that special? Hmm, very tech. While we're here, let's go ahead and take care of this. Now we don't have to dig. There we go. Turn off my light. Temperature's falling. We want to use one of our batteries now while we can. All right, we have five of the eight animals. I'm assuming that at least one more flying animals and possibly some underground ones. There's south. We got some buried tech. Let's go ahead and head towards it. I'm going to treat this like the normal, ordinary no starter ship challenges. So, Let's see how we do. And uh, yeah, looks like we got those kind of plants, huh? Eh, I don't need to identify them. Not that kind of uh, thing. Hey, I can't believe I passed that and didn't even try to get any. Dense carbon. There we go. That is handy. All right, good, 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 good. Got 35 of that. That'll come in very handy in the future. We do definitely want to find ourselves a, another cave as soon as we can. Okay, here we go. Let's hit the damaged machinery first. We don't need Fecium. Pretty sure we don't need Fecium. Nanites, okay, good. And we're going to grab this buried tech, if we can hit it, anyway. There it is. All right, good. Ferret dust. Let's grab that big chunk of it. And done. And south is this way. We already got ourselves an unknown building. We are allowed to enter the unknown buildings, just to be clear. Let's use another battery. I'm going to go through these things like water. Okay, let's head down. Down and then up, right? Ah, is that, uh, it is. Let's head down. Um, that was weird. I couldn't move. Alright, we're climbing back up again. Copper, 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 and copper. We could walk all the way if we wanted to to a portal, but, you know, the chances of us finding a portal that close are going to be pretty much slim to none. Just checking. We need more silver. We'll be fortunate if we find any. Okay, checking. Oh, platinum. I'll go ahead and grab it anyway, because it's at least worth some money. We can sell it at a terminal at some point. Very technology is obviously more valuable. Platinum as well. Too bad those couldn't be silver back-to-back, -back, right? That would have taken care of all my problems. Copper, copper, cobalt, cobalt. Cobalt with copper, cobalt. So this part is going to be and the more, more platinum. you think I would find silver more than platinum, but go figure. This part is going to be the boring part of all this. 
because we really have to search for this stuff. We need our roamer or whatever whatever exo crap we can get the materials to build. Okay. Can't believe that's not getting me from here. Go figure. Okay, so this chamber is a little bit bigger than I expected. Funny that I find so much platinum, but none of the silver. Interesting. Looks like I just found gold again, didn't I? Copper. Nope, nope. Mistaken. Let's see, that goes down a different path. Well, ooh, it looks like we're getting closer to our ship this way, though. Let's go ahead and go up this way, I guess. Silver. Excellent. Okay. All right. We did not get anything other than that. All right. So we got silver. That's good. How much did we end up with? We're up to 66. And to build that unit... Let's see, this one, we need 100 silver. So we're getting close. I have a funny feeling we're going to need two more of those. I'd like to just find the one that will give me 34, but... i got a funny feeling it's only going to give me 33 every time. Okay, I think we're done this way. we go. We're out of the hole. Okay. Let's head over to this building and see what they have for us. Ah, we got some condensed carbon right up the, right up the slope from us. Very handy. Good, 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 good. And as we already know, we're going to need a ton of this dihydrogen at some point. Because we got to make five gels out of it. And we're also going to need life support as we go along. Unless we can find some more of those fire berries floating around. Okay, that looks good. Off to the unknown building. We might be able to get away with not having to do anything until we get there. Hello. We don't have anything to really fill it with. We have a little bit of oxygen. We'll go ahead and use it. And there we go. All right, that should be good. All right. So this is just a little little one. Let's go ahead and do it anyway. Who knows what we'll get. Uh, knowledge of the past would be kind of nice. We can get some very expensive equipment out of them usually. Um language doesn't really help me. Plus, this gives me an aerial view. Ah, and there's a cloud right there. Okay. Uh, it looks like we might have something over there to our right, but it might just be a deposit. I don't see anything else. But we're going to be heading mostly in that direction anyway. How far away is it? 36 minutes away? 9,000 units? That's not terrible. That's not terrible, and it's perfectly south. So, yeah, let's go ahead and head in that direction. And in the meantime, looks like we got another unknown building on the ley line. So that is awesome. We'll go ahead and continue in that direction, shall we? And we got some buried tech right in front of me as well. Anything I need to scan? No? Okay. Let's move on.
right there. Go into first person and gather it as we go. There we go. Very nice. Get some more oxygen from him. Got him. Anything else on the way? Looks like we got another cave in front of us. We don't have to use a battery if we can go and find the cave entrance. But you know what? I bet you the cave entrance is near the building. Okay. Ooh. Check you out. Alright. Well, we don't have to worry about that because there's a cave right behind it. So, we'll go to that cave instead. It looks like we got some Atlantid guys here. Ooh, are we going to make it in time? Yeah, we'll make it in time. It's alright. We're inside. I'll take the damage one shot only. It's alright. Nothing's hurt. Looks like we got some gold here. We'll go ahead and grab that. We're at 4%, so let's go ahead and charge you up with you. Alright, condense carbon to the rescue. Alright, what do we got? Let's see. We need silver. Wouldn't that be something if we found a couple silver ones in here, huh? We'll check these towards the outside real quick. Occasionally you get fortunate and they're right in the entrance area. Yeah, 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 I know. We'll head back in just a minute. Anything up here? No, and no. We're stabilizing slowly, though, so we'll go to the other area. That was different. Silver! Let's back up a little bit so we can get ourselves protected. No, not protecting us. Thought we were far enough into this little cave area. No? Alright, how much silver do we get? We're at exactly 100. Isn't that something? Alright, good. We're in good shape. So we need to make... Let's see what we need to make in order to get this thing going. So in order to make the Pilgrim, which we can't make anything else other than the Pilgrim, we need five metal plates and five dihydrogen jellies. So do we have enough dihydrogen? Let's find out. We need 40. We should have just enough. Okay, good. And we need five metal plates, which we don't probably have enough... Yeah, we don't have anywhere near enough to make five metal plates. Okay, so we got to get ourselves some ferrite. Well, let's go find some, shall we? This is all pure ferrite, so these aren't going to help us any. Really? That hurt me? Well, let's go over here. If we have some rusted metal in here, that'll come in handy. 76, that'll give us 150. And we get a microprocessor out of it. Isn't that nice? All right. And you know what? While we're here, let's hit this again. All right. Not seeing too many settlements around, but it's kind of hard to see any. Looks like there might be one to the south behind me. Minor settlement detected. How far away? Five hours. So the place that we saw was over here, and I think that's the place we came from anyway. All right. Let's get ourselves some ferrite. Uh, let's see. That's carbon, but we need it anyway. Nightfall, we are here. What do, we, what do these things have on their second? Oh, they're just a primary element. Okay. We do need some more dihydrogen because I would like to make some... Um, some... Because I'm not finding any of the oxygen plants that I'd like to find those breathers that have the, have the little pustules on them that you can gather. Alright. 
go up here. You can't help me, but you got bigger pieces of barite up there. There's one. So we need at least 250 ferrite. We're also looking for one of the big monoliths, because the big monoliths will have the portal coordinates. And I think, what kind of a planet is this system here? It is a Viking. Okay, very good. Viking systems are very good because, well, it's not necessarily that they're very good, but it's just that, oh, I should have been known. I should have known it from the Herc uh, reference. But the Viking will be good because we, when we find those, we need, a, I think, a dagger or... I think it's the daggers. I can't remember what we need. All right, let's drop into the cave and recharge. Okay, just hang out here for just a minute. How are we doing on ferrite? 251 is what we're at right now. We can make five just barely, but we're going to definitely need more ferrite as we go. I would like to make a refiner, so we're going to go ahead and do that anyway. We need more oxygen. Okay. Let's take a look around. Oh, I got some condensed carbon behind me over there. I don't see any oxygen anywhere, though. Interesting. Unknown building. That direction. We should be heading that way, but I'm willing to go check out the unknown building. We got another one this way. Let's go to this unknown building instead. Ah, you know what, though? can't see it from here. Let's go this way first. We'll get some sodium that'll recharge my shields. I haven't seen that many icons on the bottom of my uh, screen in a while. All four of them were going at once. 240. Because you never know when one of these buildings will turn out to be a crash ship. Eh, it's just a monument. Yeah, that's not going to help me at all. It's one of the regular ones. Okay, let's go the other way. Yep, I know. Let's do another scan, see if we can get some oxygen. There is literally no oxygen here. Except you. I'll take it. I can make some uh, gels now. I should be able to. No? What am I missing? 23 more dihydrogen. So let's make some... Let's make a gel real quick. And we'll get some more dihydrogen and make more. Okay. And for you, I'm going to go ahead and use another battery. And we'll keep our eyes peeled for anything we need. Hmm, you're handy. Oh, wait a minute before we do. Good. A little bit of dihydrogen. Some ferrite dust. Good. Alright. Let's move on. Cut off some of the angle here. There we go. And land right on a plant. That can bite me. What are the chances, right? There we go. Grab the carbon while we're here. Some little more dihydrogen in this field here.
should have sentinels starting to show up soon. Okay, so this unknown building is 300 paces away. 250. So right now we're in just straight out survival mode. We're still trying to get enough resources together so that we don't kill ourselves. Uh, I'll take the rusted metal for now, please. Thank you. And we got nanites. And there should be... There it is. Very technology. Excellent. Moving on. And didn't we just leave this place? Okay, any caves nearby? Not that I can see. All right. Oh, they want to take two. I will use sodium this time. Maybe we'll get fortunate. Get some more stuff out of this one. Yep, not going to do anything for me. All right, so we're still heading in this direction, which is south. And we're going to check around real quick and see what else we've got out here. All right. We've got another damaged machinery in this direction. What's that? Ancient data structures. Those are always handy. Especially without the Sentinels floating around. There we go. Because you might just get navigation data, and that's perfectly fine. But every now and then, you get something else. And it's worth getting to something else. There we go. Got some oxygen out of that. I think we can start building our refiner soon. Hey, how about some heat protection, my friend? Oh, that means it is going to give us something. Okay, hold on. Um, and can we build the... Yes, we can. Let's build the refiner real quick. How much oxygen? How much carbon do we have? Let's grab... Yeah, let's grab that. We'll put half of it in for now, and we'll see how we do. Okay, what do you got for me? Starship shield. Not useful to me at all. Alright, so I'm not even going to worry about this. We can get 300 nanites from, from it eventually. But we need to build one of those and one of those. So we got one of those. We need one more. And that's what our ferrite dust is for. Okay. We should be able to build it now. There we go. Good. All right. So, and do we have any buried tech here? We do. Can we get it? There we go. And do we have a cave nearby? I thought we saw... Yeah, we do. We do have a cave nearby. Let's go ahead and dig down a little bit. Uh, let's see. Where was that? Yep, there they are, straight ahead of me. There. Through cave, which means we can go ahead and recharge while we're here. Alright, good deal. Got a little bit of cobalt around me. How are we doing on cobalt? We're kind of low on it. Let's get some more. And we're going to refine some stuff while we're at it, before we build our roamer. Eh, one or two more of these. We'll make a few extra batteries, because I think this thing recharges by batteries, so... And we need to get ourselves a... 
cobalt deposit. I think would be a good idea. All right, any animals down here while we're looking around? I just want to make sure. Let's check that idea. I am curious. Flying and two underground. Okay, so the two that are underground, usually in cave systems like this, you're not going to really find them very easily. So you want to find one of those more opened up ones near a near like a uh, minor settlement or something like that, like the, like one of the ones we were at earlier. Okay, we got some oxygen out of him. That's good. All right. Back out the way we came. And we're out. And how are you doing? Out of fuel. Yeah, I didn't really want to use too, too much. All right. So, how's our inventory look? What do we got in here? We need some more condensed carbon. We got some silicon. Let's go ahead and put that in our... There we go. Rain manipulator. That frees up that space. Let's build our... Pilgrim, shall we? Now, we'll need the resources back. There we go. And let's get inside real quick. Now, it's not going to protect us from the elements, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. Boost and that. We have all the upgrades for it as well. So we can get those eventually. I would like to get... Uh, what do we need? Heat shielding here. Which we need dioxide, which this planet does not have. Hermetic seals and wiring loom. Okay. And I don't think we can do that for ourselves either, can we? We need phosphorus, which we can get. We have the silver now, and we have almost all the copper. So we can give ourselves a heat shield. It's a C-class, but it's a heat shield nonetheless. And then we can build ourselves a personal refiner if we can ever get enough oxygen. Okay, let's put this in our pilgrim. Keep this here. This can go in the pilgrim. This can go in the pilgrim, and this can go in the pilgrim for now. Put this in the pilgrim. Pilgrim. All right. I don't need that. Okay. Almost done. There we go. Now, we don't want to turn that into, into the other elements we were thinking of earlier. Chromatic metal. So we're going to hold off on that. Okay. Let's pick this guy up. For now. And our inventory is a little bit better off now because of what we just did. All right. So we're in a little bit better shape. Is that? That's phosphorus. Yeah, we need that. I think we needed about 60 of it, was it? Or 80? Let's see. And you know what we could use? We're going to use more because that's what we use to charge it up with. We can use batteries, but the batteries I'd like to use on the Nomad. All right. Nice. I'd like to get about 200 if I can. Make it just a little bit bigger. Take more of this deposit. Clean it all out. And if we install this real quick, we won't have to worry. But what we should do... Yeah, you know what? We won't be able to install it quick enough because we need, I think, oxygen, like it said. All right, let's take a look, first of all. We need four copper, so let's see if we can find our cave that we were just at a minute ago. That way. 
And we need to recharge this with something. Let's see how much we have. Oh, we're already in here. Look at that. Alright, we're in. So what do we need? We need copper, right? We need four copper. We got two. <laughs> Cheapskate. We'll get two more out of this. And two more. Okay, we got it. So let's see if we can build it, build it now. I mean, C class is better than nothing. And we can now recharge that with some phosphorus, I think. Don't know, but at least gives us better heat resistance than we had. Whoop, wrong way. Out of the hole. No, it's just providing us better heat resistance, but it's not a shield shield. So that's okay. We'll grab the phosphorus because we could use it anyway. Alright, so where is my roamer? There it is. And we are going to head south. But first things first, we're so south, that's north, this is south. Where are we headed? Any more flying creatures floating around? Because one of those is a flyer. Okay. South. Oh. There we go. Got him. Okay. Alright, head that direction. Here we go. Now, this isn't uh, terribly fast, but it's faster than we had. And more importantly, we now have a little bit more heat protection than we had before, so at least that's something. And how, how long will it take to get there? We'll now take seven minutes to get to the Ancient Ruin, which, by the way, is protected. There we go. Okay. Take another look, because we don't want to miss any buildings on the way. If we can find a ship, that would be great. Because we can get a license from it. Nothing. Okay, moving on. So if we get trapped in a cave or something like that, you used to be able to just summon them. Ooh, we got a... What do you call it? A sentinel that just popped up. You used to have to be able to, um, uh, just place the platform down again and resummon it, but we can't do that in this one. Oh, can't get it. This time. This one's a little bit further down than normal. Okay. What can we get from you? That's really why we were here, not just to get the buried tech. Launch fuel. Hmm. Alright, let's go. South it is. Sort of south. Keep an eye in front of us because we don't want to get ourselves in a hole again. One thing I love about these exocraft just plows through everything. Planet like this, I don't care as much. One of the paradise planets are a little more difficult. Hmm, chlorine. Actually, was that chlorine? Let me just check it. It is chlorine. Okay. Something we can't really use. I just wanted to check. Six minutes to get to our ancient ruin. Uh, 
know, we want to keep our eyes open for like sodium patches and oxygen patches and stuff like that. Because that'll come in really handy right about now. Life support is not going to last forever. Uh, looks like we got something ahead. Building structures. Should have gotten out and scanned earlier, but that's okay. Let's see what this one has to hold for us. A minor settlement. Look at that. First things first, let's check over here. Sometimes these have a better chance of carrying protection. And we have our technology. Got it. Let's go back into each one of these. This will protect us a little bit and we can pick up more nanites. I don't need that. Hey. That increases our standing usually, but it's not enough to really do much sometimes. There we go. What do we got here? Let's see. Yep, shield maximum, no big deal. Alright. Alright, the Exocraft. Let's grab this, this, and we're going to sell those. We can't do anything with that, so we'll hang on to it here. Let's go inside and see what we got. Alright, first things first. Let's hit the trade terminal. We're going to sell off... Platinum. Gold. I'm going to hang on to the silver in case I need it. It's not really worth enough. It's only 6,000, so it's not really a problem. Salvage data, there you go. And the navigation data. Okay. That's a good amount of stuff. What can we buy? we got a million. Carbon nanotubes and exosuit upgrade chart we can do nothing with, so don't even bother. Uh, microprocessors are good. I'll get two more of those. I'm sure we'll find more on the way. Dockside. I will take that, my friend. That is life support. That'll get me about several rounds of life support at this point. All right, good. Let's go see what our guy over there has. We're going to hit the Viking up in just a moment. What do you have for me, my friend? Let's start with components first. We got wiring looms. They're expensive, but definitely worth it. Uh, let me just see what else he has. All right, why don't we grab the wiring looms, because that'll be handy for installing stuff. It's very expensive. We're going to blow through a lot of our money, but we need it. Okay. Um, he has other things, and we don't have any nanites, but let me just see something here. That's not what I wanted. Sorry. Blueprints. I don't know if we can sell them to him. Yeah, we can't sell. But he has everything we could get if we wanted to. Okay, good to know. All right, this guy, let's see if he'll do something for me. Uh, peaceful in the language. I grab my multi tool and while barking, get him up out of the stream of slab. They point at the mining beam charge indicator, then it might pack. We're going to give him carbon. Satisfaction, press my gift, and standing. All right, so he didn't really give me anything other than some words in Viking, so. Not very handy at all. What do you got for me here? It's a B-class, and it happens to have a geology cannon, which comes in handy, but I guarantee this thing is not... Yeah, well, we could exchange it. It's got everything we need except for the terrain manipulator, and we have enough money to buy it. That'll get us a better multi-tool with a few extra slots. That is definitely... I'm going to do that. I am going to do that. Let's go ahead and uninstall you. Hang on to that. This multi-tool has nothing else of worth in it. And we'll exchange. Spending a lot of money here, but we do have to get a ship eventually. Uh, before we do that. 
There we go. We'll have to charge you up. So that's the silicon powder. That's okay. We don't need a lot. This will come in handy. You see, large bore projector uh, uses plasma shells. So once the charge is gone, we're going to have to get unstable plasma to, to, to keep going with it. They're not expensive, so I may pick up a few. But these are dangerous because they can kill you too. But very handy because it is for rapid ground, like it says, rapid ground evacuate ex excavation. So it should give us materials. I'm going to still put the mining beam down here. Though, so, let me see, scanner range is 193. Let me just see something here, 241. You know what, I think I'll do that. And we're going to put you over here. Okay. So, excellent. We have a new toll. Uh, let me just see here. We have nothing in there. Sorry. So, craft has this. I really wish we could install it and uninstall it, because that would be handy. Uh, let me put that in my pilgrim. This in the pilgrim. Because anything we lose in here is lost forever. So as much as we can put in there, the better. Yeah, you know what? The more I think about it, the smarter that is. Because, if, well, if we die, we call it the end of the game anyway. So it's really not make, making much of a difference. So, yeah, no problem. We'll keep what we got. That's fine. All right. Looks good. Let's get some of those plasmas. Uh, unstable plasma. We can get... Oh, they're 12,000 each. Okay, we'll get two. That's enough. I don't think we'll need any more. All right. So that'll be helpful. Let's see how we do. All right, before we leave, we're heading south. We're going to look in this general direction and see if there's anything. Looks like we got another unknown building right over there. Okay. We'll head there first. Oh, hi there. Okay. Oh, okay, good. Yep, I know. All right. How about an upgrade? More launch fuel. Okay. Let's grab the nanites out of here. Uh, we'll grab that. There we go. Rank has just gone up because of it. Alright. Good. We're in good shape. Okay, so we're heading south. What's that direction? Let's see. don't see much, but uh, we're there. Ancient Ruin is in that direction. Let's head there. Alright, you know what? Come on, look at that. I'm not much into saying that things are cute, but that was cute. Okay? Just saying. Alright, moving on. Like a little mousy dude on two feet. I mean, come on, that's just... Never mind. Carry on. Moving on. We're going to try to hit this one up. Let's see if we can get some heat protection. Holy mackerel. I just got heat protection in S class. Yeah. Look at that. Awesome sauce. That's all I can say. All right. Doesn't get any better than that. That's the look of the Jason hitting hitting me right there, my friends. Aye, the luck of the Jason. All right. Let's get to our ancient ruin. Four minutes away. I heard something, so I'm going to investigate. Just a campsite, but what the campsite has is it has little packages like these here. 
Okay, we got some sodium out of them. Projectile ammunition. Condensed carbon. Excellent. Okay, over here. Get rid of you. We don't need it. I'm going to put this in our pilgrim. Take a look around. Yeah, that's right where we are. Okay. That's south, just so we know. I don't see anything. All right, so we're going to head towards our place over here. And I'm doing a lot of stopping on the way because we want to get more stuff. We need money now, more than ever. We've got enough to get by with what we have now, especially now that we have a shield. We're in good shape. Nanites, okay, where is the buried tech? There it is. Got it. Okay. On we go. And down we go. Uh, passing condensed carbon, condensed carbon, and it's bothering me, so I've got to stop. We could use an A-class upgrade for our advanced mining lasers, what we really could use, you know? Hitting the wrong button, sorry. Dense carbon over here. A bunch more over there. I'll take it. Good, 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 good. Lots of oxygen floating around, but we're going to head back to our pilgrim and get going. Oh, you know what? We can produce a couple more of these. Let's just go ahead and put it in. But, oh, that's right. We have dioxide for that. Duh. Okay. Down the slope. What do we got in this one? I can't believe we got the S-Class Thermal Upgrade. I mean, that's fantastic. I'm really pleased by that. Excuse me, sir. Gotta get the technology. Thank you. See? No damage. You should be happy with that. Alright, so this way... Gotta get up that slope over there. Now that shield we've got, we don't I don't think we have to use the batteries on it. We can use phosphorus to charge it if I remember correctly. Hey, I know what you are. Yeah. Life support there. Be great if we got a uh Something other than ammunition out of these things. Okay. Get rid of the fecium. There we go. A little quiet there, sorry. Focused. More nanites, that's fine. We can more we use more nanites. I have no problem with that. The hydrogen jelly, good. Good, good. Okay, up the slope, come on. Uh, where's our treasure? That way, okay, found it. Two minutes away, we're almost there. See how much money it's really worth. And if it was worth our time coming all this way. Keep our eyes open because we could be missing things. There's a transmission tower, an unknown building in front of us. Boy, we're finding buildings left and right. This is good stuff. Ancient data structure. I might want to do that. Because there's a bunch of them 
like I said, they could be worth something. Oh, that was really quick. Ah, see, that's what I'm looking for. Exosuit upgrade chart. So that's good. It's worth money. Okay. That was worth our time. And there should be the transmission tower. Transmission towers are very handy. That was gold, platinum, uranium. Hmm. They're very handy if it's the one I think it is. Because we could use that to find something. A ship, maybe? Come on. More nanites. Good. That's fine. Technology. And in here for more nanites. Ooh, credits. That's nice. Not much, usually. About a thousand, usually. Fifteen hundred. That's pretty good. First aid. Health at maximum. Good. All right. That was worth my time stopping there. Okay, in we go. More nanites. Nice. How many do we have now? 450. Not bad. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, okay, yeah, this is 720. Alright, so a distress signal. Let's see where it's located at. Hopefully not too far away, but... Most of the time, they're on the other side of the planet from you. So, let's see what we end up with. Looking at the ground. Um, that is to the north. Five hours away. Okay. And in the direction of my ship. Which is 35 minutes away. So it's way beyond my ship. We know it's there. At least that's something. Alright. Now we did have another place nearby. Did we not? Unknown building there. So we'll head over there. And that's on the way. Okay. Okay. Off we go. Our exocraft is slowly dying, as you can see. Oh, it's a... Uh, what do you call it? Yeah, a drop pod. Yeah, we can't use them. Corvax casing, like we really need it. Nothing found. Okay, we know we don't need the first aid. Just move it over real quick. So we're going to sell that, definitely. I'm going to put that in the Pilgrim. How's our life support look like? Good. All right. There. That's what I was trying to do. Quick, quick look. All right. No buildings nearby that I can see. All right, and our treasure is just ahead. Should be about a minute away. Uh, let's see. Fuel takes oxygen, carbon, or condensed carbon. So 347, 116, or 174. We'll have to use the condensed carbon. Okay. So now we know. Get more condensed carbon. But it doesn't take any batteries, right? Okay, how far we got to go? 29 seconds, so it should be around on the other side of this rise here. I'm kind of more anxious to get there, so I'm going to ignore some of the things on the way. Should be right down here, it looks like. It sure is. And... Let's see our... Thermal protection is now being fixed up. One. How's our... Yeah, we're good. Two. Over here. 
Follow the path. There's three. And the big chest is right below this thing here. There you are. Large artifact crate. Use our keys to open it. We're close enough to actually get it. Rare item. Whoa. Almost 3,000 years old. You know what that is. That's going to be worth a lot. 1.1 million. Very, very nice. Excellent. So this was definitely worth my time. Alright, so where are we here? Can we hit that from here? Yeah, we can. Can't get any more. That's a start. Okay. Okay. Let's get some condensed carbon because we need we need we uh, we need it for fuel. Should be right over here. I think. Scanner still recharging. It's going to take a while, I guess. We probably ran right past it, I'm guessing. Get some regular carbon for the interim, and we're going to start heading south again. Alright, so, what's south? Okay, not much heading that way, but let's go ahead and head that way anyway. That's that's the direction. All right, on our way. <laughs> Jumped the gap. That's right, buddy. And we're getting towards daytime. And south, this direction. So occasionally, every now and then, we got to get out of our uh, pilgrim and take a scan around. What I'd like to do is try to do it at times when we can find some stuff to gather. Let's go up to the top of the hill here. That'll be good. There we go. And we'll take a look around. Got some ancient data structures ahead of us. We may head towards those. I do not see any buildings. Well, that's south. Ancient data structures is where we're heading next. Oi. Quite the slope. Okay. That's all we got. Sorry, buddy. It's going to scare you, I know. Okay. That's all we could get out of that anyway, right? Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and recharge our thermal protection finally. We're going to put phosphorus in it, as you can see, so that's good. Uh, let's see. Life support. Okay, good. Looks like we're going doing good in all other areas. Hey, we got ourselves an unknown building. Let's head over there. Let's see what we got. Hopefully it'll be a crash ship. I'm hoping for a shuttle. Shuttle would be great. Nope. And actually, this is about the second best thing I could possibly find. Maybe even the first. We don't want to screw this up. I'm going to accept the knowledge. I'm going to get a few words out of this if I can. Alright, let's see what we can do. Because this will point us towards a portal. Yeah, I know. We learned words. 
You can read. I place my palm on the monolith and stand back when it melts in response to my touch. Molten rock strips down the stone, exposing a hollow interior. Inside, I see riches that are beyond belief. Ancient technologies, cargo that would aid my journey. Suddenly, the voice on an ancient of an ancient tribe shakes the ground I stand on. The Viking, something of something or other. Lava continues to drip, and the edifice seems unstable, but, equ but equipment that could aid me is within my reach. Nope, stand back. The ancient warriors who once worshipped here bless my show of respect. The lava reshapes itself, forming an intricate plinth in front of me as it cools. The plinth is laden with gifts. Vision fades, but the gifts remain. What do I get? A Viking effigy, which is what we needed. So we go here again. Ancients and inhabitants accept my presence. They will tolerate a request. We need a Viking dagger. Just darn it all. So we can't locate a, a portal. The best we can do here is we can't... I guarantee there's nothing else around here. Hey, look at you. Underground biological entity... Item number seven, if I can find one more, it will be in good shape. Is to look around the area and see if we can find another one of these. Or something. That will aid us in getting a Viking dagger. A traitor dropping it. Well, no, they wouldn't help any. That would definitely not help any. Alright. So it looks like we're going to have to head south and hope for the best. The only thing else I can think of doing is I can put maybe a marker here. Can I put down a save beacon? I need sodium nitrate. I can do that. So if we really, really have to, we can come back here. Um, sodium. Yes. Let's put a little bit of carbon in. We don't need much. Uh, how much did we need? Did we need about 20? 10? I think we needed 10. Let's find out. Let me find out. 15. We needed 15. There we go. And we'll put the save beacon right here. So that way we'll be able to find it in the future. So we know we can get to the portal. We know we can find it. It's sad, but there we are. I'm going to put this in my pilgrim. Get rid of you. Get our health up to 99%. Anything that's of value will keep. The Viking effigy will put in the pilgrim as well as the navigation data. All right. Okay. Not much we can do now. It's hoping for another underground creature showing up, but I don't see any. So, off we go. South it is, this direction, and we're on our merry little way. Let's go ahead and get going. All right. We're going to go a little ways, then we're going to stop and look around. Ah, see, that's what I was talking about right there. Did we make it out? We did. Okay, good. Fell into a nice little cave in there, but fortunately we're able to make our way out. I gotta remember to be a little more descriptive. I know that some of my listeners are visually impaired, so I'll do my best to be a little more descriptive. Alright, well, we found a beacon... But it didn't show up on my radar earlier. That's really, really strange. Looks like we got an unknown building, but I see a sentinel hovering around it, so I know what kind of building that is. Uh, let's see here. Up high, I don't see anything. Oh, yep, wait, wait. No, that's the one I found earlier. Okay. Let's go ahead and use the beacon. It's not going to give me much, but... Yeah. Save point. That's all it does. And let me go over here. Yeah, that's one of the uh, manufacturing facilities. Yeah, I don't need to go anywhere near that. I can't get in anyway, so might as well just move on. Okay. 
you notice my heat protection is dropping. I'm going to go ahead and put phosphorus in it now. All right, on we go. South. There we go. So apparently we're going to have to stop a little more often because this thing goes a little further than I thought it does at each bush. So we get to the top of the hill over here. We'll go ahead and stop again. Oh, we're really going to go as far. Hey, look, some copper. Hmm. Look, some... Let's buy phosphorus. And top of the hill. Out we go. Let's take a look. Let's see. We're going to check 360. 360 degrees around us because we don't want to miss anything. Unknown building. See? Told you we were going to miss something. Uh, let me see if I can see it from here. I see smoke. I'm curious. Let's go take a look. Uh, we need to mark it. There it is. There we go. Great if it was a ship. Nope, just one of the little damage machinery things. Okay. That's okay. There's some other items here we can take a look at. Oh, and what do you know? It's one of those uh, scouts hanging out here. Viking scout. I don't, I'm not going to repeat what we're saying here, but he's going to recharge my hazard protection. That was very kind of him. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Okay, let's check out the damage machinery. Got some nanites out of it. And there should be... Yep, buried tech. Let's go ahead and grab it. Alright. Check the items over here while he sits and relaxes. Damaged containers. Rusted metal. We're going to get rid of that. Microprocessor. Awesome. You can always use those. Another damaged container. Get rid of the rusted metal. A Viking effigy. Could one of you guys give me maybe a Viking dagger? A dagger? I said that wrong again. I can't believe I did that. This one had a Corvax casing in it. Yes. Okay. Great. Thank you, sir, for nothing. All right. Let's go ahead and get going. We have no buildings near us. We're going to go up the slope here. Top of the hill. Check that out. How about we get a nice picture, huh? Pull back. A little further. There. That looks like a nice starting picture. What do you think? Stranded. I like it. Maybe we can't jump on the ship and get a ride, huh? Uh, it's a thought. One day I'll try that out. I know I will. You think I'm crazy? Hey, I took a... I took a rocket couch to space. I took it to... I even took a rocket couch to another planet. Okay, so, yeah, trust me. Just crazy enough to try it. Why not? I need some condensed carbon. Bye. I'm sorry, I needed that condensed carbon more than you needed to uh, shoot me down for it. Whew, almost went down a hole. And they're done. Okay, let's get out and take a look. Because I don't want to pass something up by accident. Let's see. Nothing. Nothing, I tell you. Okay. I see nothing near us. Let's move on. So now we have, should have plenty of condensed carbon to uh, keep our pilgrim going for a while. Uh, 
as we come across other deposits. I'll stop and I'll get some, but for now. All right. I think go up to this rise here and get out again. Let's take another look. Let's see. Nothing. Nothing. Get for the berry technology so we can get some more money. Since that's in the southern direction. I swear I just heard something. Hello. Get out. Oh, unburied technology, are you? What do you got for me, sir? Damaged machinery. What do you have inside? Why, look, it's nanites. What a shock. Alright, let's see, we got a cargo drop. That's not really interesting. Ship would be much, much better. I am curious about something. Let's uh, hop in the Pilgrim. I just want to turn around real quick for just a second and look. The stress beacon's one hour away. So that's a ship. I mean... I don't know. How far is my ship away while I'm sitting in this? 15 minutes. Yeah. Still going to go in south southerly direction. Sorry. I'm going with the hope that I can find maybe a landing platform. Though, I haven't seen a whole lot of ships flying overhead, so that kind of disturbs me. Or we can find a Viking dagger. So we can find a portal, and then we'll find out the portal is really close by, right? No, it won't be. Hello, Sentinel. Staring me in the face. Okay. South. South. Whoa. That was pretty cool. Oh, that's what it was telling me. My exocraft fuel is running low. Well, yeah, I'll do that too. Uh, condensed carbon. Charged it nearly all the way, which means I didn't have enough condensed carbon, so I'm going to have to keep my eyes peeled. All right, go up the slope here, and we're going to stop. First things first. Hmm. Can't get the buried technology. I will have to dig. There we go. Scan. You guys don't want to stop, do you? No? Okay, I could do some trading, but that's alright. Mining beam. Let me take a look around. I need condensed carbon. We got some in front of me, so I'm going to head that direction. Whoops. Ah, that hurt. I didn't break anything. Alright, I've got about 30 of it. Nope, scanner's recharging still. I can't do anything yet. Selenium, solar vines. That's interesting. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I am not seeing any established settlements anywhere near me, so... Back to the ship. For our exocraft, that is. South. Night time again. Let's go up to the next slope and we'll take another look around. Here, let's go stop by over by this damaged machinery. See what it has in store. Probably some more nanites. Toxic protection. I'm going to install it. I don't need it. But when I uninstall it, I'll get stuff out of it. 
Uh, pilgrim. Let's put this stuff in my pilgrim. I keep forgetting I put stuff in my inventory, and I don't need to. I can put it in the pilgrim now. Yeah, let's put you in the pilgrim too. Okay. Opened up my inventory a little bit more. Is this two berry technologies? It is. And I can't get to them, so I'm going to have to dig. One, two. I got six of them out of that. That was awesome. Good. Oh, you know why? Because there's a second damage machinery here. Which gave us a second toxic protection. Isn't that interesting? Okay. We'll put it in there. That'll get us... You know what? Let's go ahead and uninstall it now. And it gives us also... What was this? Ammonia? Interesting. Nope. So now we have some more. How much do we have in that exocraft? We have five. We're up to five wiring lobes. That's awesome. Okay, south. Did we even scan? We didn't even scan. We forgot to scan around. So interested in finding what I found that uh, I didn't look around to see if there was something else nearby. Nope. Nothing to see. Okay. On our merry little way. So we've been going for an hour and about a little more than a half because we haven't found what we're looking for. Still haven't found what I'm looking for. All right, top of the hill here. We'll stop again and take another look. Make sure we didn't pass by any establishments. Don't see anything. Stop scanning my wheels. Get your own ride. All right. Whoop. Dense carbon. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up while I can before anybody attacks me. All right. How much do we got? 55. We need a lot more than that to charge my... Uh, my guy here. All right, we got a ship flying over by itself. And it's going the other way. I don't know why. That's kind of weird. All right, back to the pilgrim and heading south again. Okay, we're in a new region. And we just found another landing area. I mean, why didn't this show up? I don't get it. That's odd. This is a debris area. I'll go ahead and check it out. That's interesting. Damaged machinery, but it didn't show up on my scan earlier. Okay, we got some nanites out of it. We'll grab the buried technology. And what do we have in our chests over here? Rusted metal, hopefully a Viking dagger. Dagger, did it again. Hmm, Gek Nip, yeah, that's handy. The other one? A Gek Relic. Yeah, those are handy. Gek Nip is worth a little bit, but it's not really enough to do anything for my uh, myself here. Let's put the microprocessor over there. Okay. Alright, this has a pretty decent tunnel system nearby. I'm going to take a look at it. Just hang out for a few minutes and see if that other animal shows up. That'll be pretty cool.
that would be really nice because we can get a, like about a, I don't know, 1200, 1500 nanites, I guess. All right. My shield is going down. We'll go ahead and get that established again. All right. While we're waiting, let's take a look around. So we are heading south. Uh, anything in that general direction? Not that I can see. We do have an unknown building to our east. Okay, we'll head that way next. Any animals show up? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and head over there then. Uh, what is this? Okay, little campsite. Ah, good. It's a trade terminal. That's nice. We will be glad to use you, my friend. Let's sell some of this stuff off. Uh, what do we got? Salvage data. 33 of them. So we get 1.6 mil for that. Nothing else in that inventory. We can't switch over to the other inventory, though. So we'll have to do it manually. Let's go to my Exocraft. We're going to pull in the Viking Effigy. Or Vax Casing. I might hang on to the Effigy. I haven't decided yet. House of Ein. We're going to get rid of the navigation data. The Ammonia. I'll hang on to because I don't know. Gek Relic and the Gek Nip are both going bye-bye. Let's hang on to one of the Viking Effigies. There. Just in case we run into something. You know? Okay, Gecknip. What do we got? Effigy, the Corvax casings. Exocraft upgrade, navigation data, the Gek Relic. We are now up to 2.9 million, just shy of 2.9 million. So that's pretty good. Anything we can buy while we're here? Nah, not really. They got microprocessors, but we got about five of the five or six of those now. All right, any animals that are showing up near this cave system that's laid out all over the ground over here? Kind of would expect something to show up, but nothing showed up yet. No red dots. Uh, what are you? You're the minor settlement we we're looking for. Any other settlements? We see ships heading in the southerly direction, too, so that's a good thing. Let me just take a 360 real fast. Okay, we're good. South it is. Which is that way. Yeah, I know. It made Magnate. Tycoon, yeah. Should have made Magnate by now. Probably did. It's just not going to show it to me just yet. Take another look. Got a buried plant. Uh, what else we got? Ah, what's that? Another unknown building. Okay, good. We'll head that direction. Off we go. Telly ho, sir. Uh, it's just one of those little little ones. Little uh, monoliths, if you will. I'm going to go ahead and just get out so I can claim it. And then we'll take a look around from here. It's also got a cave system nearby, so maybe something will show up and we can get that ninth animal or eighth animal, whatever it is. Uh, let's see. Nope, I don't see anything else. Okay, so... On our merry little way, I guess. I'm not seeing any animals showing up. Yeah, okay, we're good. Moving on. South. That way. Alright. Loading rock in the air. Great. Just gonna go a little bit further because we're finding that we're... I think we're missing things, so 
so we're not stopping often enough. I think that's a building down there, is it? Minor settlement straight ahead. Excellent. All right. I'm just going to look around from here real quick. Just make sure there's nothing else nearby, but I don't think there is. All right. Let's hit the minor settlement and see what it's got for us. Hey, maybe we can get the advanced mining laser while we're there. Though we already have the blueprints, so we shouldn't have to purchase any blueprints. All right. Let's gather the technology that's over here. There we go. Damage machinery. Nanites, okay, good. Oh, what happened here? We're on the wrong side here. Let's go over here. Little building we're going into now. We're gonna get some nanites. And research specimen. Okay. Grab the buggy. And we're just gonna move over to the door. In we go. So let's check out the multi-tool real quick. Just want to see what they've got. It looks like the exact same one I've got, but it's a C-class. This one happens to have a high-energy cooling system for the mining tool, but I don't care about Viking at Arms, recruiter. Let's talk to him. Uh, let's see. Let's hand it over. So hand over the, the multi-tool. Examine it, hold it closely before tossing away with a derisory snort. Instead, they offer me an approved replacement multi-tool, which is probably damaged. And yes, it is. It is a B-class, which is what I've already got. Honestly, let's compare them. Oh, you know what? It comes with a bolt caster on board. We can take it. Why don't we take it? it it's free, so we're going to take it for free. And I'm going to go into that multi-tool, and I'm going to uninstall the bolt caster. And anything else we want to get rid of? Nothing. No. Okay. So, we could, now that I think about it, we uninstall the scanner? We can. And that. So what do we get when we uninstall those? We got a carbon nanotube, which we're going to put in our pilgrim. We got... i got to sell those. Probably something else, but I don't see it. So, who knows. Okay, so let's go and switch multi-tools. There it is. And we will install the bolt caster in this multi-tool. Excellent. Okay. Very good. We got it for free, so that wasn't a bad deal, right? Got a free multi-tool? Alright, sir. I'm going to sell you something. Oh, actually, you don't... Yeah, I can still... Purchase components. Let's go ahead and sell the salvage data we just got for 200,000. That puts us over the 3 million mark. Anything to buy? Not really. He doesn't have anything I need. All right. So we do need to put the advanced mining laser in if we can. Can we do that? There's our mining laser. Let's see. We need a hermetic seal, carbon nanotube, which we just got, and two wiring looms. Let's go ahead and do it. We do need the hermetic seal, which we can still build. We do need condensed carbon to make it, and we have a little bit. Let's see, where are you? Condensed carbon. There you are. Yeah, we'll use some of that, and we'll install it in our multi-tool. Okay, so now we have an advanced mining laser for it. And let's see how that works out for us. Okay, I think we're done with this place. Is there anything in the main... I didn't go to the main trading terminal just to see what it had. That's phosphorus. Let's go ahead and grab it. Nothing else, really, that's worth our time. Okay, we're done. All right. Take a look. South. We have a minor settlement four hours away. We're at a minor, minor settlement here. Uh, look at you. I didn't want to do that. There is a creature that popped out of a cave over there. 
and it just vanished. I can't believe it. Let me get a little closer. Maybe it'll show back up again. There it is. That is my last creature. All eight are found. Let's go ahead and discoveries. We get a 2,000 nanite bonus. That brings us up to 2,600 nanites. Very sweet. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so that's good luck there. Not that I believe in luck, but, you know. Okay, south. That's my south direction. Let's do this. Okay, we'll get to the top of the hill here, the mountain, or whatever this is, and, uh... Oh. Why didn't this show up? Um, we just found ourselves in... Uh, what is this place? It is a, uh... Artifact area. You know, protected. Buried. Treasure. Um, very weird. There we go. It's weird. It's weird because my buried my my terrain manipulator is shooting laser beams backwards occasionally, so I don't know what's going on here. Go. That's three. And large artifact crate. Let's go ahead and open it up. See what we got. Rare item. A uh, thousand year old prehistoric fermenting supplies. How much is it worth? Half a mil. It's not bad. Take it. Let's go back to that uh, minor settlement real quick and sell it. Whoa, okay, that was really crazy. There we go. Okay. Got a half mil for it. Good, so we're up to three and a half million, almost 3.6 million. That is really good. Okay, back up the hill. Still trying to figure out how the heck that happened. Let's stop for just a second in this protected area and take a look so we can know where we're headed next. Uh, let's see. There's nothing at the top of the hill. Alright. So, we'll just head up that way. Let's go. South. South, my boy. Closing in on the two-hour mark of this video. If we don't find something soon, I'm going to have to quit. I'll give it one more hour, Tops. Then I'm calling it done. I'm going to set a time limit for myself. Exit the craft. To take a quick look around. Not seeing anything here. Yes, my protection's falling again. That's okay. I'm going to let it get down pretty low this time before we recharge my shield. Oh, Exocraft is getting low on fuel. We are going to have to find some serious fuel soon. All right, so let's get out and take a look real quick first. Either carbon or condensed carbon will charge this nicely, but it requires a lot of carbon. So, I would rather get condensed carbon. Let's do a quick scanner. There's condensed carbon in two patches over there and one over there. Let's go this way. Advanced mining laser. Not the gun. Okay. It's only 11 condensed carbon. That's fantastic. Okay, more condensed carbon down there. I got another 30 of it. 
All right. Go back up the hill. Scanner's still charging, so we'll try to remember where the where it was on the other side of our exocraft. Oof, one of those big ships flying over again. Okay, I don't see the condensed carbon anywhere nearby. I may have to just get regular carbon this time around. I'll get some oxygen too, since there's one of those stupid plants here that I hate. Carbon. Big carbon plant. We'll go ahead and grab that too while we're at it. Good. Little carbon. Scan is charged. Let's go take a look around real fast. Uh, where was it? Don't see it now. O2. Looks like we've got a sodium patch nearby. I don't see it. Huh. Okay, well, got to charge our shield now. Oh, there it is. I just found it. Right in front of me. It wasn't a very big patch. That's probably why. Alright, how much do we got? 76 condensed, 218 regular. We need as much carbon as we get to recharge our uh, exocraft. Okay. Alright, south. On we go. Uh, we need to stop at different things and see if we can get a Viking da dagger out of something. Otherwise, we're never going to find the portal. Okay, let's get out here. Take another look. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Nothing over there. Nothing I can see. Okay. We're going to start looking at... Not the buried cache. No, we want to look at cargo drops. It's cargo drop 40 units away. Let me just take a boost over there and check out the, the damage container. Because occasionally they'll drop things like the Viking daggers. This one gave me dihydrogen jelly. All right. So maybe we'll just start doing that automatically. We'll continue to head south in case we run across a ship, because finding a ship would be really, really good right about now. We can at least get a pilot's license. Yep, I know. Condensed carbon patch, nice one. Okay, done. 50 condensed carbon. That should charge me up all the way. It didn't charge me up all the way. Because I, I used my oxygen instead. That's okay. Can we put it in... any Install any upgrades to this guy? Let's see here. Icarus fuel system. We need storm crystals, though. We can't get those. Radar. Hmm. That's interesting. We can do that. Let's get the radar for this, because that could come in handy in finding exactly what we need. All right. We need, but we need um, chromatic metal. So, we need copper. 
327. For us, copper 835. Which ways? Let's go ahead and pick you up first. College stone. Copper at 414. All right, let's head to our right. We're going to go to the copper at 414. Take that. Can't select it because my ship's in the way. Exocraft is in the way. Pardon me. All right. So we're going to get some copper. I need some chromatic metal. We're going to install radar on our... On our dude here. Not bad. Let's charge it up real fast. All right. So we need a couple hundred chromatic metal. We'll need about 400 copper. See what kind of deposit this is. Yep, 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 yep. I know it's falling. Okay. Pretty good deposit. We might get about 400 out of it. That'll be nice. If we get 400, we'll be in good shape. Keeping it on the smallest setting so we can gather as much copper as we can. Because the more chromatic metal we get out of this, the better off we'll be. We've got a few things we need to build. Time to upgrade ourselves. And if our Pilgrim, if we upgrade its radar, I think we can find a portal with it. So, that would be nice, right? Okay, let's big, make this bigger. We're going to get some extra silicone, silicate powder out of it. There we go. How much did we end up with? 500. Okay, good. All right. Uh, yeah, I guess we can do it right here. Why not? We should have plenty of carbon. Let's get this going. Copper 300. We can only put 150 in at a time, but that's okay. Let's take a look while we're here and just make sure we're not finding any settlements or, you know, places to go around here. Doesn't look like it. There we go. Save. We ducked into a little burnt out hole of our own, so. That wouldn't blow up our would it? 52% complete. We'll go ahead and recharge while we're here. We've got plenty of phosphorus to do it with, so we'll go from there. That'll be good. Not bad. Okay, that should be done by now. Let's take a look, shall we? Hey. Uh, that. And. Copper, there you are. Okay, duck back in. Why did my shield not go up? Oh. 
There it goes. Mm, ship flying overhead. Heading to the south. And then going straight, not quite straight up. He's going up on, on the right, so a little more to the right to head towards the landing pad, but we're not really heading for a landing pad. We want to find a crashed ship if we if we need a ship. So we'll see what happens here. 54% on that particular chromatic metal run. What else is in our inventory? So we got 217 more copper to go. We got enough chromatic metal. Do we have enough to upgrade this guy? Let's see. Hold on. Let's put in the radar. Where are you? We can. Okay, so we got radar on it now. So we don't have to get out of our exocraft to start looking for things. That'll be good. Alright, should be done with this run. It is. Let's get the next run going. And let's see what else we can install our exocraft with 100. That will be... Okay, so we can do the radar amplifier which is plus 100 on the scan. Um, and the radar power resonator, it's an A-class model, but needs 150 of that and 50 gold. And we don't have the gold anymore. We sold it. I didn't realize we were going to need it. So we can do at least the B-class one. So let's go ahead and put that in. That's going to use up two of our batteries and two more of our microprocessors. There we go. Excellent. So that should help our Exocraft. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I think we can put in the rest of our copper. Yep. There we go. And we'll let it finish up. Alright, good. So we're going to have plenty of chromatic metal. Do we have anything else we need to process? No, we don't. Uh, how's my life support? Use up the fire berries. I'm going to make one life support gel in case I need it. Excellent. We've got plenty of dioxide, so that's good. Silica powder we do have plenty of as well. I'm going to go ahead and recharge my unit over here. There we go. It's 100% charged. Mining beam. We can use phosphorus to charge that. I forgot about that. we got 239 phosphorus, so I'll go ahead and use it. Starship I'm not worried about, right? Okay, good. Like I said, life support's a little low. I'm going to use the dioxide right now. We got 81 dioxide left, so that'll be good. All right, we're in good shape. And it's done. Okay. All right, south we go. We're going to look for more stuff. Okay. There was some oxygen there I could have grabbed, but that's okay. All right, up the hill. Alright, and I think we've gone far enough, so let's go ahead and get out. Oh, crap. And I got myself in a hole, didn't I? I wonder if we can turn. We can. Now can we move our way out now? Let's see. we got to do... Oop. We are stuck. Good job. Because well, I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Uh, let's dig a path down to my unit here. There we go. Whoa, that was close. I don't know what was about to happen there. There we go. See if we can get out of it now. Almost. 
We're almost there. Back. Come on. Look, uh, 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 we're out. Excellent. Okay, we're south. That's north. This is south. I'm just going to get to the top of the hill instead. Since we've already kind of damaged ourselves here. Excuse me, sir. Sorry. Uh, we got a building. Unknown. Straight ahead. It's looked behind me, too, just in case I missed something while I was driving past. Nothing. Okay. Building it is. Let's head that way. I just killed a creature by accident. I wasn't intending to, but that's okay. Uh, this is a... What facility is this? not a factory. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's got, uh, an abandoned. Abandoned building. Okay. We could gather up all those things, but let's see what we got in here. Okay. Turn on a light all so you can see. Projectile ammunition. Nothing found. Let's go to the abandoned terminal. I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to get past it real quick. Because it'll give me a whole ton of nanites, usually. And there's usually some buried technology nearby, too. Analyze data log. Okay. Eh, 135 nanites. Nice. Okay, what is this? Encyclopedia gives us a word in Viking. It's a bigger facility, so I'm going to wander around inside real quick and just take a look. Got it. Okay, that was a squiddy from the ceiling. Alright. What else we got in here? More containers. Condensed carbon, some oxygen. Very nice. Okay, nothing else on the walls over here. Alright, not bad. I mean, it helps. It's not great, but... I could gather the eggs and take them with me, but... They're not worth as much as everybody thinks they are. They're, they're more worth it to me to turn them into nanites. That's about it. And I've already got plenty of nanites right now, so it's not really necessary. What was that? Minor settlement, four hours. Okay. Is that a buried cache? Okay. All right. Up we go. Oh, and I forgot we have our scanner on this too, don't we? Let's get up to the top of the hill real quick and then do a scan. Shall we? Now, if I'm not mistaken, we go into the X menu. Exocraft radar. Deposits, drop pods, or abandoned structures is all we can get. So that doesn't really help me at all. That's a shame. Oh well. Can we do a scan this way? Yes, we can. Wow. Tells me where everything is, huh? That's nice. Couldn't get out of my ship because it scanned so many different things. It wouldn't let me out. I thought I was selecting everything. That was hilarious. All right. South we go. Ah, another cave. Yeah, this is not one I can get out of either. All right, let's... Uh Okay. Let's go this way. As this goes, I think. Wow, really? Okay. That didn't work like I expected. Okay. 
think that's good. What? What embarrassing thing about setting out 8,000 steps and you haven't found a darn thing yet. <laughs> Whoa, okay, that was kind of crazy, wasn't it? We're out. Okay. South, 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 that way. Hmm, hold on. Fuel. Uh, not the bolt caster. Alright, condensed carbon. Good deal. Gotta get it while we can. All right, really need to find something soon because we're at two hours and 20 minutes. Looks like we found an archive. I'm gonna get this condensed carbon while I'm here, but I think we found something. Is it an archive? Oh, hey, dude, that was not cool. You don't make me flip my, uh, uh no. Oh, for crying out loud, another cave. There, got out of that one. Okay, good. Looks like a crashed freighter, actually. Which is okay, because it has items we can get, so. I'll take it. Now, sometimes these crashed freighters like to hang out near other crashed items. Let's see if we're correct. All right, here we go. We are at the crashed freighter site. All right, let's take a look and see if we can gather up some cargo pods. And a really good way to do that, too, is the same way we do everything else. Turn off the light, because I can't see. Cargo pod. All right, here we go. What'd it give me? Didn't give me anything because my my <coughs> inventory's full. So why couldn't you tell me that? Okay. All right. We're going to get rid of some of this silicon powder because we got too much of it. <clears throat> and I'm losing my voice. Oh, no. Now, let me get some hydration real quick. Okay, we're back. Uh, let's see. Let's go back in there and take what it is because it didn't give us anything. Multi tool expansion slot. That's pretty good. I mean, those are worth something, right? 85,000. Put that in the pilgrim. Should get used to that. All right. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. Stabilizing this time, right? Salvage data. Gave me two. Okay. What else we got? War Piper Core. Nice. Not that I can use it, but okay. Uh, where are you? Cargo pod. Two. Another more salvage data, two of them. I didn't have to do that. This cargo pod is right below me. Okay, oh, crap. Neural ducks, five. That's actually worth something. I'll check it in a moment. Let's get the last cargo pod, which should be right over here. I will actually look for it this time. All right, here we go. More neural ducts. Okay, 
So we got five of them. Ten of them total. How much are they worth? Half a million. So that's not bad at all. Alright. I like that. So let's go ahead and put this stuff in my inventory for now. So we got a half a million. How much is the War Piper Core? 47? Yeah, it's not bad. Alright, good. We're in pretty good shape, I think. We're running low on phosphorus, so we're going to have to get more. Before we leave, let's take a look around. I see nothing. Okay, but we do need some phosphorus. we got some phosphorus below us. And cobalt that way. Phosphorus that way. And an unknown building over there. Okay. Let's say we head to the unknown building first. Did we already go in that one? That looks like another abandoned structure. <clears throat> and... It is an abandoned structure. I think I'm going to bypass this one. It didn't... They don't really give me anything, so... Let's take another look from here. Uh, organic rock, huh? Interesting. Oh, I know what those give. Never mind, we don't want... Phosphorus deposit, 119. Let me grab it real quick. I'm gonna go by jetpack. We'll grab the condensed carbon that's over here too, which is really a nice deposit. An extra carbon while we're at it. And we got some all kinds of containers. We got a drop. It's good. Hopefully it has a Viking dag dagger inside. Nope, projectile. And we'll grab this one. It's also a dro cargo drop. Life support gel. All right. Is the phosphorus. Did I go past it? thought it was right here. Is this it right here in front of me? No. Right in front of me, right? Yeah, I'm literally standing on it. Where is it? Stupid. Get about 200 of it real quick. Actually, go up one size. We're not going to go with the smallest size this time. I just want to gather it up quickly this time. There we go. That looks good. There we go. That looks good. Let's head back to our exocrat. Sure we have enough. Really like to get some boosters for my jetpack too one of these days, but since we're using an exocraft, it really wasn't needed. South has nothing for me at the moment. We got 251 phosphorus. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, and I have yet to use that uh, geology cannon, don't I? Yeah. Okay, stop. Let's take another look. Uh, let's see. Got some ships flying nearby. Just want to see what they're going to do. Up until the left. Alright. It's good to know. Not that we really need it. I mean, if we need a ship, we need a ship. But I was hoping our radar would be able to find something. And I was also hoping for a Viking dagger at this point. Cargo drops. Let's head to cargo drops at this point all the way. We're going to do all of them. we got to get a Viking dagger. Or else this is going to continue forever. Got to learn to stop on the right side of the item. Microprocessor. That's okay. A couple extra items. 
Next look. Buried mineral, buried plants. Okay, moving on. Go to the top of the next mountain. Mountain. <laughs> two and a half hours. Well, about two hours and twenty minutes, I guess. Unburied technology. And damaged machinery. Some more nanites. Take a look through the scope. Very cash. We don't need that. Minerals. Okay. Exocraft, on we go. Go up this hill. We can. Oof. Nice jump. All right, top of the hill, and we're going to stop again. Take a look. Got some buried cash, a cargo drop, buried cash. So we'll hit the cargo drop, of course. The buried cash tends to not carry something that we're looking for, so I'm going to ignore that. I mean, it might carry something that's valuable. Fuel required? I can't believe I've crossed right past this thing. I didn't even see it. No, it doesn't have one of the big caskets. Okay, I'll have to wait on that. Okay. How much fuel do we have? Yeah, we're okay. We'll have to put more in in a moment, but that's okay. Check out some damaged machinery again. We're going to check out some buried cash real fast. Buried uh, technology. Oop. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay, buried technology acquired. Quick another look. Cargo drop right in front of me. I don't have any abandoned buildings. Let's get the buried technology. This one has a big container. I can't get it because why? Memory. Our, our stuff is full here. Can we put this in our... No, we can't. Okay, what do we got? Okay, we can pick it up now. More dihydrogen gels. Put some stuff in our pilgrim real quick. I'm going to put the chromatic metal in there too. Pure ferrite and the magnetized ferrite as well as the microprocessor, I think. Yeah, that'll work. That'll give us more slots available. Okay. We also need to recharge our life support. We'll use some more dioxide. Okay. All right. Nothing in the view scanner. Let's move on. I'm beginning to wonder whether we shouldn't have stayed near the... Monolith and just looked for cargo drops around me instead. And I'm sure you, you all wondered the same thing at some point. I've actually been wondering it for a little while now, whether that wouldn't have been a better idea. But it is what it is now. Where's the buried tech? Find it in a moment, I guess. Okay, damaged machinery... Just got some nanites out of it, okay. Oh, there's the buried tech right in front of me. That one we can get. Alright, how do we look in here? We should have a lot of money in here now. We're closing in on about five, six million, so if we can get ourselves 
ask Ship again. It would be great if we can find a shuttle. Because that will get us what we're looking for and it will make our search go a lot quicker. There we go. Alright, let's stop here and take a look. Uh, let's see. Nothing here except some buried catch. Okay. South we go. A little further. A little further and I think we're, we will turn around. I think that's a good idea. We can hit the cargo drops all along the way. One of them's got to have a Viking dagger in it. Alright. Should be in a different region by now. Let's stop here. Uh, let's see. Cargo drop. We have an unknown building right in front of us. Good. Okay, let's go for the unknown building. We'll hit the cargo drop on the way. Cargo drop. Yeah, we'll check it, but it's only got the two yellow ones. And they usually come up with nothing found. Sodium nitrate, great. Okay. Hit the building. There's that new region that we're in now. Alright, what do we got here? Is it? Radar station, yeah. Finding a freighter, crashed freighter on us somewhere. Got some damaged containers over here. Let's check them real quick and see if they've got... So you got an ion battery. Do we have room? Okay, good. Yeah, let's check the other one. Microprocessor. Okay, I was hoping. Here's the hoping. Yeah, I know. Damage machinery. They don't carry anything like that, but we'll get nanites out of it real quick. Oh, shield module. That's for me, I think. Yeah, what do you know? That's cool. What is it giving me? Shield strength and core health. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Very happy about that. That's nice. Some nanites. And hopefully my standing at the Viking will go up. Alright. Not much to do inside this building. I mean, I, I can use the radar and all that, but it's just going to search for something in another system. Or another planet, and that doesn't help me. I'll research the specimen. I got a new Viking rank. Number three now. I just turned off one of the lights. Extract nanites. We'll go ahead and do it, just because maybe it'll give me a bird's eye view of the area. Uh, 2170. Okay. And a little bit of clouds, but that's okay. Yeah. I don't see much. Yeah, like I said, another planet. Nothing we can do about that, but that was nice. Okay, we had a cache somewhere nearby, or was that the cache? Alright, south, let me just check real fast and take a look. At least we got another building. No. Alright, so we're going to work our way back to our save point. And that's north, right? That way. Now there's our save point, save beacon. It's an hour away, it says, but that's by foot. Now if we look, 17 minutes. So let's just head that direction. We're going to look for, like I said, um, cargo drops is what we're interested in. You know, and because we're going to be heading kind of a more direct or a slightly indirect way, we'll take a slightly different path. We'll also 
come across other things, and I'm hoping other buildings too. Let me just take another look real quick. Okay. No, I don't see anything. Buried cash, but that's okay. We don't need that. Okay, moving on. I just need a Viking dagger. I should be able to find what we're looking for. We can at least know where the portal is and know that we haven't been going in the wrong direction all along. Look more to the right when we do this because cargo drops are going to be closer to that kind of location. Yeah, that kills my thermal protection, I tell you. There's one right behind me. There's literally one right behind me. I'll take the first aid because it's going to get my health to maximum. Ion battery again. Okay. Let's put this in my Pilgrim. That is the microprocessor that we acquired. I'm going to put the refiner in there too while I'm at it. Okay. Gives me a little more room in my inventory. Okay. Okay, this one has a green damage container as well. What do we get? We got a Viking dagger. Awesome. See, that's what we should have done. Oh, that's so stupid. All right. Um, you know what? This is navigation data modules. I just want to see if they have anything we can use. No? Okay. Just navigation data. We'll go ahead and delete those. Or sell them. They don't really give us much money, but that's okay. Alright. We're going to go straight back. How far is it? 16 minutes. How's our fuel consumption doing? It's doing all right. Two thirds. How far? It says 1545. Let's go over the rise. And we're in the air. That's why I like the Nomad better. Now how far? 15. Oh, don't you dare go in there. There we go. Almost went in a cave. Fuel is about halfway. 14.45. So I don't think that's taking a minute. We're going a little quicker because we're going in the air on occasion. Okay, there's the freighter. Crash freighter, that is. And the abandoned building on top of the hill next to it. Kind of creepy, really. Think about it. We're at 50% on thermal protection. Ooh, nice hill. That was a good jump. Just plowing through everything. We're heading straight for it. 13 minutes and 18 seconds. That's a hole. Okay, I thought that was a deposit. Good grief. Shadows. Whoa, okay, hit a sentinel. <laughs> Launched me in the air. Mm, sodium patch, not important. Yep, I know. I'm gonna wait till you get to 10% and we'll put some more fuel in.
There we go. Get a nice jump out of that one. That looks pretty good. Let's see. What? Wait. No, not hazard protection. Okay, that's my heat protection. Okay, we used up all of our condensed carbon that we had. Gave us about three quarters. How far we got? Eleven minutes, it says. Speed is doing 23. We do boost boosts up to like 33. 36 when we hit a hill. That's good. Okay, we're at just about 10 minutes. So yeah, so there's something that we learned while playing this, is that we should um, if you find one of these monoliths, you put down the save point, but you start looking around from that point. Alright, now we're coming down a hill here. Uh, this is the, the what do you call it? The minor settlement that we stopped at earlier. So I'm going to run in real quick and sell what I've got real fast. Anything in my pilgrim real quick? Yeah. Uh, exosuit. Exosuit. We're running out of room in my exosuit. But there's nothing else to sell, so we're good. Salvage data. Do not sell the Viking dagger. Uh, let's see. The Warpiper core. The neural ducts. Multi-tool expansion, the Viking effigy, navigation data. We're up to just shy of 5 million. So that's pretty good. We did we did good here. Okay, we'll get some more phosphorus while we're here. Okay, we're good. Let's get out of here. On our way. We've got... It says just under nine minutes. Get there. So this will find us our portal. Pray it's not on the other side of the planet. And that's like an hour away or something like that. And then we can really be in good shape. But I don't have the luck of the Jason for the most part. I got a nice shield on me now. That was the best thing I could have gotten. I found some nice stuff that I could sell and make some money on. So I'm happy about that. Five million will get me a shuttle, most likely. Okay. Oh, crap. That was a cave. That's okay. We want in and out. We're, we're all right. How long does it say now? Seven and a half, so that's pretty good. Uh, gotta get around this big outcropping. So we can't go over it. Mm, dense carbon. Ah, that's alright. We have regular carbon that should get us the rest of the way. How far do we got to go? Can't get lined up on it. Hold on. Six and a half minutes, it says. Got a hill coming up. Good. Downhill. 37, 38, 39, 40. That's not bad. That just means fuel's down to 20%. That's okay. Downhill. Downhill. Good, 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 good. Excellent. We'll get to a more stable spot, we'll check our distance. Less than five and a half. Let's go ahead and charge. We can use regular carbon. We had plenty. We had enough to get us halfway. We're out of carbon now. Will it get us there? It's less than five minutes, it says. Yeah, must have hit a plant. Do 
Good job. There we go. In the air. As much as possible. Alright, how far? Under four. With the fuel we have, we should be able to make it. Worst comes to worst, we can always hit that distress beacon too after we do this, but I don't know if we'll need it. Whoa, all the way down a hill. Hit 44 on that one. Okay, it is two and a half minutes away. need fuel required soon is what we're going to hit. I think we have a little bit of oxygen on us that should get us if we need to. There it is. 20%. Going up a hill. And over the top of the hill. And I can just about see it. All the way down. All the way down. All the way down. Nice. That got us a long way. Just over a minute to go. Yeah, I think we have enough fuel to make it. Come on. 10%. Go up the hill. Don't roll down it, that'll be better. Like, it's in sight. It's in sight. Five percent. That was another... That was another c computer. Random base computer. We made it. Whew. We'll need some carbon to continue. But, here we are. Okay. They'll accept it. Portal. Portal located. Where are you? Uh, that's not it. I'm looking. Portal this way. There it is. Three hours away on foot. I'm going to pick up my save beacon. We don't need it in here anymore. Alright, what do we have for... We have no carbon left whatsoever. We have a little bit of oxygen. So we're going to need some carbon to continue. Dense carbon over the ridge. Let's go ahead and grab some. Regular carbon. Got it. Good amount of condensed carbon right here. That's nice. Anything else? Scanner is still recharging. We should go to our Exocraft and use it to look for more. That big tree, where was it? Oh, that'll give me stuff, huh? Let me scan it because it has a secondary element, which is condensed carbon. Excellent. We'll take the big tree. Let's see how much it gives us. Gave us 42 plus 6 condensed. That's really not worth it. The little one is only carbon. That gave us 43. Go figure. Okay. There we go. Okay. So this way, it tells me it's going to take 56 minutes to reach the portal. 
That, my friends, is definitely worth the time. All right, so this would be it. We could search for a ship on the way, but the portal is our goal. So if we don't have a ship, it would take us about an hour to get there. My guess is that we can probably shave it down to 40 minutes from this point. And looking at the time, that might be pushing my limits as to how long this video should be. Scanner recharged. Yes, it is. I'm going to continue to scan because I need fuel for my exocraft, which is in the shape of condensed carbon. That was a nice, nice amount of it right there. That's not a really big amount, but I'll take it anyway. I bet it doesn't run in phosphorus, because that would be great. We had plenty of it. Would installing the laser work on this? We need Pugnium, which means we got to fight things if we want it. Oh, there's the mining laser. Magnetized ferret. We have what we need to make it. So, interesting. Let's go ahead and pull you out and put you in there. Let's see how that will work. <laughs> Killed the plant before it could hit hurt us. Let's pick a plant. There's a plant right in front of us. Good. Alright, that works out nicely. It's a pretty fast laser. So we can gather carbon as we go. Let's get the fuel. Put in the condensed carbon. And that way we can just keep going. Sounds like a good idea to me. What do you think? Good. And the drones won't be have a chance to investigate because we're already gone before they have a chance. Whoa, okay, it's taking out the big trees. Easy. Nice. Okay, good. We're getting a lot of carbon this way. So as we love run low on fuel, we can get our own. Excellent. Yep. Can't destroy him before you, uh, you know, take him. him anyway. Excellent. Doesn't shoot very far. But it's okay. Hey, landing platform. That's a shame. No crash ships. 
You know what? Can it search for crash ships? No. Okay, worth a shot. Can the add-on for it search for crash crash ships? The radar power, chromatic metal we would need, and gold. Let's see what they've got here. Because even if they don't have any chromatic metal, they've got gold. Aha! So that's good. And if we have chromatic metal, we just need copper. Correct? And how much was that shuttle? Hold on. How much are you? Okay, that one's 15 million, but it's a B-class. The fighter's 11 million. Ah, uh, it has an exotic? Oh, that's great. Good for me. There's a cheap, cheap shuttle. C-class, not a hauler. 16 mil. I can't believe there was an exotic here. Go figure. Oh, hush. You. Alright, we need copper. Uh, I could go unknown buildings and look for ships, but with 50 minutes away, we could really, really do this. All right, where's my portal at? There you are. I'm going to go ahead and highlight you. There we go. Copper up the top. Excellent. That's where we're headed. All right, so that ship is a C-Class 6.7 million. That's a B-Class at 15. I just want to know how much money we're going to need if we need to buy a ship. Because I don't think we will. I think we're going to head straight. That is an interesting looking ship. B class at 13. You are the same ship. Are you a C or B? 13. A lot of fighters here. A class, 22 million. Nice. Okay. Down we go. So we need how much? Let's find out. I gotta check, because it's worth it. We need... 150, so we need 300. And if we had a personal refiner, we could do this while we were driving. Okay, we got about 75. Probably about 100 so far. We're going to need another deposit. This is a tiny deposit. There's not much in it. Not a lot. How much should we get? 189. Not even 190. There. 190. Let's keep going. Is that copper right in front of me? I think it is. It could be phosphorus, though. Phosphorus. Ah, darn it. Is 
salvage data. Phosphorus deposit. Phosphorus. Cobalt. Copper, right there. Just need a little more copper. About a hundred. Another tiny deposit, but should be enough. Much we got three hundred. Okay, Technology it'll take just a couple minutes to do. All right, how much charge do we have in the exocraft? Forty one. I'm going to put the condensed carbon in. Condensed carbon in. Regular carbon. 100%. You, regular. No, I'll hold off. No, yeah, we can put some in. Cool. Okay, put the oxygen in. We'll be good. All right. While we're waiting, let's make sure we don't waste our time. Probably distance traveled. Okay. Bunch more carbon. Sorry about the silence there. Thinking. Gotta think. Gotta think of what we're doing. This isn't just playing here. Okay, copper. Let's get it going. How much do we have? We have the 76 chromatic metal. Let's get into the exocraft and actually install the scanner while we're here. So we got the batteries, we got the gold, we need 150 chromatic metal, and then we're done. Yep, I know, we're doing it. Uh, copper. There we go. Good. That'll get us all that's left. Check my inventory. Of me. Thank you. We'll put this in the Pilgrim. Okay, we'll put the gold in the Pilgrim. We didn't need that. A little bit of powder. Let's go ahead and charge up my... Terrain manipulator. Plenty of phosphorus. Life support looking pretty good. We'll go ahead and charge it up anyway. Alright. We're almost there. I think we got it, actually. Let's check the exocraft. Yep, we've got it. Okay, sonar is complete. Is there any other attachments we can put on here? I don't want to slide. Drift, turn sharply. No, we don't care about that. We need boosting. Fuel, we need storm crystals, can't help it. Cannon. Don't care. Okay. Yep, that's it. Alright, let's pick it up and go. 
Off we go. We're on our way. There's the portal. That's way. Okay, good. So we're gonna do this. Let's check the radar. Trading outpost, drop pods, abandoned structures, ruins, and alien structures. So that's all we can get from this. We cannot scan for crashed anything. All right, worth a shot. All right, so 48 minutes. Let's see what we can do here. This will get us completed before the four hour mark. We just have to be able to get enough fuel to keep this thing going. Huh, we got copper out of that. Okay. Lots of carbon. All the carbon we can get. Oh, okay. Just missed a couple of caves. That was weird. Jeez. I don't know what in the world we're... Okay. Get down this hill. We're gonna get that big plant over there. Excellent. Okay, good. We've got a lot of good plants here. We're getting a lot of carbon. Would you look at that? Another landing platform. How far does it say we got? 45? Get through all this real quick. On the hill. Okay, good. I have no idea how much we have, carbon wise. Hmm. Another beacon. Can I get up this hill? Yes. And I reached another ancient city dwelling thing. Right now I'm not interested in finding a ship because I think at this point it's superfluous. Because of the amount of time we would have to spend getting to another one of those landing platforms would take too, too, too long. this point, we'll just head for the portal. Portal being less than an hour away. Hello. Okay, that's just weird. We landed on a structure. That's weird. Can I get this plant? All right. All right. A little bit of silence while I answer questions from the gallery. OK, 
Okay. Start charging things. Let's get our protection. And our ship. Ha! Ah. Got plenty of carbon now, so we're good. What does it say now? 40 minutes. How we doing? Good. We already shaved off a few minutes. I don't know what to talk about while we're doing this. So... Let's see. What can we discuss? That this is a very interesting... Let's start with that. This is a very interesting series that we could do. So doing this live streaming I think would be nice. Especially if we have other people here who we can talk to. <laughs> what in the world? No, charge my weapon. Yeah, oh, can't get that. Moving on. So, I think it's an interesting series. I, I do like this. I would suggest that in order to... Because there are some times when it gets a little bit too easy. Okay? Once you get past the survival aspect of it... It gets easy. Be and why, why do I say easy? Because... You have the ability to... Find a portal, and the portal's close by, like this one's 38 minutes away at this point. Um, as long as I focus on it, I can get there in a half hour. And I'm done. Now, had I done things right, if I had looked for a cargo drop near me and did things properly, I probably would have found a Viking dagger a lot quicker. Okay, so that's a good thing. And I would have found it, I would have been done, I would have been on my way to the portal, we probably would have already been done by now. So... Is that making it more difficult? What would make it more difficult? Hmm. How about you can't enter the portal without a ship? You have to have a ship, and it can't be your starter ship. It can be any other ship, but it cannot be your starter ship, which means it's forcing you to get the money to do so. For, for, so for a longer series, you know, where you could spend five, six hours playing on a stream, and then continue that at a later time. Then that could be worth it. In my book. Okay, where are we here? It says 36 minutes. Put that down more. So I'm not mining any more carbon. We've got well over a thousand carbon in my uh, pilgrim's inventory. We'll hit the big plants as we go, because those give out more, and they give me condensed carbon, too. Not much, just a couple, but still, it's condensed carbon. All right. All right, how much time now? It says 35. Okay, so we've already shaved off a minute. I was going to end at 57. Uh, according to the to the timer on my recording, 357 is when it was going to end. Now we're looking at three... Hold on. Get lined up. 34 and a half. So less than 355 now. We've already saved a few minutes. We can save a few more. That'll be great. Especially if we don't get off this. That's true, and I did stop a couple times. I was expecting 357 before we stopped a few times and got the uh, chromatic metal. So we've actually saved even more time. Uh-oh. Oof, that was close. Almost went down another uh, crevasse. Okay, let's charge. With carbon. Excellent. As long as we don't fall through the world here, we should be okay. 
Excellent. Yep, I know. Again, we're going to wait for it to get low before we charge it. For efficiency's sake. Alright. We just found a crashed ship. Ah, uh, nope, there's a pilot there. Alright, so that's going to have to be a rule we'll have to look into, because it's a crashed fighter ship, but there's already a pilot here. Do we talk to the pirate and get his pilot and get his pirates pilot's license? So that's going to be an interesting turn. So there's a question. I'm going to go ahead and pose that to Beeblebum when I'm done with my challenge. And I stopped while I was thinking about it. Uh, looks like another ancient structure here. Very nice. Flag was all the way up in the air. That was funny. Actually floating, the whole pole was floating over the ground. So isn't that funny? We came across a stranded pilot. Because if we help him, he takes off and flies away. We don't get a, a pilot's license, so we'll have to think about that. So we do know that with this, we upgraded all the way we could find landing platforms, so that's good. Um, one of the other ones I think will find crash ships. I don't know which one it is, but hopefully not the Minotaur. Okay, it says it's just over 30 minutes. Actually, once we get down this hill, we're doing 50 down the hill. Now how long? We're on to 30. That brings us down to 52. See? We're saving time. That was funny finding a stranded pilot right there, right? Good. Excellent. Got a little extra carbon out of that one. Out of that plant that I just took out. Can we go first person on this? I don't know. Can we? Creatures. Camera view. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, this is crazy. I've never done this before. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. Back the other way. That was funny. I haven't done that before. That was pretty good. What else can we discuss while we're on our way for the next 30 minutes? So... Live stream on... Saturday evening. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna go ahead and push this out on Saturday morning, so... You will likely see this video and wonder what in the world's going on he's doing all kinds of videos because i'm very very happy is that another f yeah that's another uh frigate that crashed into the ground one of the big ones too hmm. no we don't need the money so i'm gonna keep going so yeah we're gonna have the live stream on saturday from five to eight just a short stream um not going to be able to do a long one because I had other plans that day and didn't realize I was going to have to do this. I'm very happy about it, mind you. It's an excellent, excellent reason to, to take a few moments and get things taken care of. You know, that's to share some time with some, some people who have been helping me along the way. And we are down to the 350 mark now, so that's good. You can save more time. Woo, right over the top of that. That was pretty cool. Alright, we're going to have to recharge our pilgrim here. Oh, can we get around that? Yeah, we'll have to go this way. Yeah, 
There we go. Down the slope. Just going to take a quick peek. I wanted to make sure there was nothing there. Okay, good. So we diverted our attention a little bit. How far? 24 minutes, it says. Yep, we're at the 50 minute mark. Excellent. stream on Monday as well. Probably about 8.30 in the morning or so. We're going to do it early. hill we're climbing up here so stream on monday what else we got going on uh, i am heavily anticipating light no fire i will definitely be playing that game there is no doubt in my mind that's not what i want go ahead and charge my shields there we go we're way up on the mountains here this is good Incredible landscape. Up the hill and over. There we go. Now that's a drop. Wheels are going nuts. That was hilarious. Oh, that was a nice drop off the top of that mountain. Good. How far? 20 minutes. Now we're down to the 48 minute mark. See? Eating up time. Eating up time. But I want to complete this and I'm going to do it on the video. And that's all there is to it. Hope everything, everybody is doing well. There are many areas in the United States right now, for those who are watching from the U.S., that are undergoing severe weather and uh, prayers and hopes going out to everybody. Hope everybody's doing all right. S please stay warm. Don't do anything stupid. And I just want... Like, uh, can I go out that way? I can. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Hey, you got out of there. Went down a crevasse while I was yapping so yeah i hope everybody's okay hope we just stay safe folks you know it's, it's rough weather sometimes the cold weather comes in it can be anywhere from cold weather to hot weather you know the weather systems are a mess humans have done so much harm to this earth that the weather systems can no longer be predicted properly so just be careful out there so it will be really cold here that day, too. I mean, for us, really cold transfers to, uh, translates, translates to a high, I believe, on Monday of like 16 degrees. We should hit a low that night in the negatives, which is not very common in the Lexington, Kentucky area. So in case there's some of you that knew I lived here, and some that don't. Uh, we got one more charge left, and we are still 17 minutes out, so I'm going to have to start gathering more carbon. All right. So, again, light no fire I'm really looking forward to, and I hope you are as well. Um, kudos to the Low Games community company for what looks to be is going to be a really good game. I hope the hype, I hope the game meets the hype. Let's put it that way. I really, really do. I don't anticipate otherwise. I think whatever lessons are to be learned from 
um, the release of No Man's Sky is going to translate. So. Good, good, good. Let's get the carbon out of that. Ooh, there's a big one. Got a big one? Good. We're driving sideways on a slope. There's another big one. I think we can get it. There it is. Got it. go a uh, big plant up there let's see if we can get that one too we should be able to hit it there it is one two good there's another one good how are we doing 22 percent charge on our weapon on our laser pardon me big hill down. Okay, let's check our time. It says 14 minutes. That's the 45 minute mark. Well, we really have saved some time here, haven't we? And our thermal protection is falling, as it's going to announce in a couple moments. Okay, had to give that one up. A little bit of condensed carbon, nice. I've got other games I have in mind. If I had the time to do so, I had time to do more streams, I would probably be doing Valheim, because I do like it. But it's a better streaming game than it is just doing videos on. So... Personally, that's how I feel about the game. Oof, big drops, big drops. Off the hills there. Good, 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 good. Hmm, I didn't get that? I thought I got that. Oh well. Okay. Right, good. We're at 6% on our carbon. I mean, on, on, on our laser. I'm gonna hold off for now. Oh, except the big one. I'll get the big one. There, good. It only takes a couple percentage points. Alright. Now we're going to hold off. So how much time? Eleven and a half. Nice. And we should be at the portal, and then we can just put in the portal address that I have on my screen, and we're all done. Excellent. This was fun. Good, good, good. What other games? I do like Lego Mine. Uh, almost said Minecraft. I do like Lego Fortnite. That was a lot of fun, and it is a fun game to play. Uh, we've also got Stardew Valley. Um, I know there's not much following for that. A lot of people may not particularly care for it, but there are people out there that do follow it. Uh, I have a lot of fun with my kids on that. So, you know, that's always a nice one to try. There we go. Recharged. We're in good shape. We should have ten minutes to go now. Let's see. Nine and a half. We're good. Down a big hill. Good. Very good. That saved us some time. Yeah, we're at nine minutes now. That's good. So we saved a lot of time. We've cut off almost 15 minutes off of our initial time. Did a really good job doing that, so. There we go. Airtime is always really good. You get you get some good extra time bonuses when you do that. Let's 
So this is a good exemplary run of how to do it. And it gives us a good insight as to, you know, what can be changed. So I have a funny feeling we're going to see Beeblebum. He'll be streaming tomorrow. On Saturday, that is. Actually, well, this is gonna, I'm going to put this out Saturday morning. So it will release on Saturday. And sometime Saturday, you're probably going to have Beeblebum doing this challenge again. And he'll have revamped the rules at that point. So we'll, we'll check out what the latest rules are before we do it on Monday. He might even stream on Sunday, too, knowing him. Wow. This really is quite the craft. I still say I like... I do like the roamer. There's nothing wrong with it. I do like the hovercraft as well. Whoop. Okay. We almost missed the entire top of this hill. How far? Five minutes. Five and a quarter. Five and three quarter minutes. Yeah, we're doing 40 miles, 40 units a second downhill. Very good. Okay, now we're about to go uphill. We used the booster quite a bit, but we are nearly there. Four and a half minutes, it says. Good job. Hmm. There we go. Down another hill. Nice, good air time there. Three and a half minutes. I'm surprised we can't see it from here. It's just, I think it's just over the next uh, set of hills. Two minutes to get there. Two and a half, it says. We're almost there. Well, this was a lot of fun. I do have to admit, it was very interesting to do this. And I look forward to doing it live, I think. That'll be great. What other games? I can't think of anything off the top of my head that I would like to do. Less than two minutes ago. There's a lot of games I've played in the past, and I still have loaded on my computer. Alia was another game that I really do enjoy. I haven't, uh, honestly, I haven't logged on in a while. But I do recommend it. it's a nice, easy, easy going game. Yeah, let's go ahead and charge it. I can see it from here, but we're probably going to run out before we get there. And let's do our, there we go, heat shield. Okay, we're all set. And there's the portal. We can see it from here. Oof. We are drifting sideways on the slope of the hill to try to get up it. So what's the time on the clock? Three? We're not even at 3.40 yet, and we just arrived at the portal. So nice job. We saved well over 15 minutes. And here we go. Now, the question is, do we have enough supplies? Do we have copper on us? We're going to need copper. We do not. All right, so let's look around. We're going to need copper. We've got to open a portal. Phosphorus. Copper. 655. Of course, it's 655. All right, well, let's go ahead and do it. We need the copper. Then we'll come back to the portal. Wow, we got there pretty quick. We 
we don't need a large quantity of it. We just need enough to get the portal open. <laughs> We should have enough phosphorus for one of them, I think. Alright, I think that's enough. What do you think? Turn around. Back the other way. Alright. I think we have all the supplies we need. Guess we're going to find out. There we go. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm going to use the sodium nitrate for the time being on these because we have it. Okay, we don't have enough there, so we'll use... Where'd it go? Yeah, there's sodium. Okay, good. Next one is dihydrogen and cobalt. I'll use up the cobalt first. Wow, we had a lot of cobalt. I didn't realize that. Excellent. Next one is copper. 24 of each. We should have enough. And last but not least... It, oh, we didn't get enough there. Let's put that in. That was weird. Didn't put enough in. Okay, and the last but not least is condensed carbon or carbon. We'll use up the condensed first. And we had enough of it. Excellent. Portal is open. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this one. So let's go ahead and put it in. Now we have a portal address we're going to. We're going to activate the portal. Here's the portal address. Dino. Bird. We got the spider. Triforce. Two suns. We got the boat. Hands in the air, or YMCA as I like to call it. We got the whale, Triforce again, Dino, and boat. And it's a valid address. And here we go. And this concludes our stranded fella. He is now getting home. Excellent. Excellent. So this was a lot of fun, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. And we're going to go ahead and call it here. I want to thank you all for watching. I think this has been a lot of fun. Um, and we will do this again on Monday. So, hey, hit uh, if you have any comments, throw them down below. I'm sure you guys have a lot of criticisms as to what I did there. I should have stayed near, the, near my... Uh, uh, monolith in order to gather up a Viking dagger. That would have been the smarter way rather than traveling so far away to go find one. So, and here we go. We've made it. Eye of the Bee Holder. Excellent. And can I put down a communication ball? I don't have enough pure ferry. I should have a pure... I didn't take my pure ferrite with me. Did I take at least my portable refiner with me? I did. And I should have enough ferrite... to get some pure ferrite, and I can put a communication ball down. I think that's enough. Yep. Leave a message. All right, and that should do this recording then, and we'll go ahead and leave this message for Evil Bum. And that should do it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for watching. This has been Elon Paul, and we'll, we'll see you again in whatever next video we have coming out. Take care, everybody.